Alex, please. Alex, please tell me you eat balut. Yes, I do, but not the CCU. Really? So I Come just on. Eat... You just eat egg then. Just a normal egg. Yes, yeah. but it's balut, right? Like, <laughs> oh, the egg is balut. <laughs> that doesn't but... count. It's like I... saying... <laughs> it's still counted. <laughs> I ate one just it what she ate. It doesn't count. <laughs> I've been listening to podcasts a lot. Really? Oh, okay. Nice. Good time right. then. What's your um? What's your favorite podcast? What are the podcasts that you listen to recently? Oh, I'm more of um. I I don't know if you guys know um. Joy Spring, adulting with Joy Spring, and then Small Talk. What else? Um, The Table by. Oh my gosh! I forgot his name. He's in, my t- in, in the tip of my tongue. Oh, the so table by... so you do you do um you do podcasts like this, like interview podcasts. You don't do like any other podcast, like any I type just of form. To oh, what do they normally talk about? Oh, it's about mental health, adulting. Oh, really? oh nice, adulting. Adulting. Find, nice. Um, What's adulting? What's considered adulting? Taxes and um, um budgeting and. Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she called you an adult. <laughs> she said, "You tell me." <laughs> oh, ouch! Don't let the hair fool oh, you. Oh, dang! Well, welcome and thank you yeah. for listening and watching to your favorite podcast. Just admit it. This is your favorite. You like this is the only podcast you mm. listen to and you subscribe. Um, okay. And today Family. we are, <laughs> or right now, I don't know what time are you going to be listening or watching this podcast. To all of you YouTube people that's watching, and to Spotify people who's listening um we have an amazing guest and right? like i said we every time we have a guest i always say they're amazing but this one is a special um i met our guest or i i guess i saw our guest on tiktok which is the usual thing we go to tiktok and then instagram and then i stalk them yes i do yeah, go from there. um yeah and she's she's funny she's wonderful and the first actually the first time i saw her i didn't like realize that she's filipina Oh, I guess I didn't confirm that she's Filipina as soon as I saw her. This chick is Filipina, like 100% Filipina. <laughs> but like I said, she's she's funny. She's wonderful. So please welcome the, the great and mighty <laughs> Alex the Great. What's Alex up, the Alex? Great. <laughs> What's up? Yes. Hello, hey, hey. Yay. That's yeah. Um, first of all, before we um, before we begin. I ask every guest that we have, right? Um, our podcast is not that big yet. Um, we hope to be big. You know, we hope to um, tell everybody about Filipino and how the maximum Filipino works. Mm. But why did you say yes to do this podcast with us? Right. I'm curious. Well, as, as I told you guys, it's my first time. Okay. And it's mixed emotions. I don't know what like <laughs> I'm dealing with right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, so I'm like okay this is the first time yeah what am i gonna do i'm like okay i got this yeah. they're filipino i'm filipino so i guess <laughs> you know we click <laughs> yeah right all right so you just went with it you said okay let's do it i don't know yeah, what to expect. Not, okay right? so you're like right. oh they're filipino and they asked me have they was there any like any other people who asked you to do any type of content like collabs on tiktok yet i like we look at your tiktok right yeah. from the beginning 2019 yep. august 12 2019 wow. yeah i know i don't know when you started um posting but that's the very first post that you had have you ever had anybody like asked you to collab or do any contents with them actually i haven't but really? what i do is i do content for people or for like brands that's what i do i think that's kind of a collab but not like yeah. collab yeah. like remix or like you know that's what I, the original video you know what i'm saying that's what i noticed yeah. now is like um uh, so in the beginning you started with your uh just doing random videos of dances uh you know the typical uh popular dances yeah. and then as i traveled up I was like oh she's shooting advertisements or you know you know products from other brands okay but wh- how, how did that transition happen how did you uh okay so pandemic happened year 2019 is it or 2020 it's 2020 yeah 2020 okay so i got here like 2019 right so i'm i was like typical 19 year old filipina no friends and then i'm just here with my mom Mm -hmm. and that's it and then what else um yeah it was pretty um like a start you know like from the scratch right and then I saw TikTok and Facebook or oh. some like ads. I know, like some promotion. I'm like, oh, okay, this is like um, Musicali, 
Yeah. Like, well, okay. it, it's from Music Alley. Like TikTok yes. was from Music Alley. Yeah. So I was like, hmm, I'm curious. And then I just started making random videos, just dancing, <laughs> you know, just to like fight with my own, you know, nightmare because I'm just, I, I'm, I'm new in I the see. country, you know, yeah. no friends. Right. And I'm like a 19 year old and I basically leave my half of my remaining life in the Philippines. So basically I'm new to everything. I'm like, okay, I'm going to try TikTok. Nice. And I just did that dancing and then I just be I just I just went out there and just, you know, be genuine as much as I can. Right, right. And then at the year 2020, 2021, like in mm -hmm. the middle, I started gaining followers. And mm -hmm. then they said, Hey, I like your smile. And then it just, you know, being positive, you know, <laughs> okay. the positive energy. All right, and now then uh -huh. go ahead. A family member from Guam. Mm -hmm said hey i think you know you can take it more seriously like i'm like me i'm like um i don't know yet so i just continue like i did streaming like games i like, did see that yeah game. okay so yeah i did random stuff it's just really i have no niche at the at first you know i'm like okay i'm just gonna do my thing and then people loved it and yeah. i'm like okay that's a good start <laughs> like they like who I am. There's no pressure. Yeah. So like anytime here and there, I do vibes. And then, yeah. And then brands started to reach out to me like, hey, can you like create a content for us? Or like, you know, we will be paying you or like compensating you. Mm -hmm. And then, oh. yeah. Nice. And then what? there goes Instagram. Right, like, right. I never took Instagram seriously. I like, I'm not consistently uploading stuff. So I'm like, okay. And then I saw like from people from TikTok, like from my followers going to Instagram. Yeah, yeah. Basically, it's like oh, just flowing. I don't know. It's like a, it's like a domino <laughs> effect on me. Whoa. So I'm like, okay. And the brands reach out. There are times that I reach out to brands that I love. Like mm -hmm. I genuinely really like. And yeah, it's just a two way, I guess, for being here. And thank you to TikTok right? that made me okay. discover. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, I noticed. I like I noticed too that there's no Filipino brands out there. At least I haven't noticed. Have you noticed any Filipino brands out there? I haven't actually. Good right? question. Yeah, because mm. I know I know some Filipino brands like um, this brand called Cultura. They make like Filipino shirts, yeah. Filipino merch. Yeah, yeah. I know that. Yeah, yeah. and my sister you know loves them. What's that? Around at, um, <laughs> the SM shopping malls. <laughs> yeah, right. oh, okay. yeah, right, right. <laughs> Here at SM, we got, <laughs> got it all well, for sorry. you. Oh my god, we're gonna yeah. get copyrighted for that song. But <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, so let's let's before we talk about your uh, social media life, let's talk about because this is uh, I was asked before. Um, one of our guests messaged me and said, hey, I thought you were going to ask me about my brand and things like that. I said, well, I did. And he said, yeah, but you mainly like talk about me. And 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 I and I guess the whole point of the Maximum Filipino show and this Learn Filipino pod uh, is to promote you and to showcase you as a content creator, you know, all over the world. But rarely for us content creators to talk about our personal life. You know what I mean? Like we always like find our niche. Like this is the things that I do and I this is what I'm going to show you. And we don't usually like talk about, oh, this is my life. This is my well-being, my how I grew up and, and things like that. So that's what I want to bring up in a podcast like this. Like, you know, mm -hmm. hey, um, Alex the Great is not just the tiktoker alex the great and you know and tiktok exactly. and instagram yeah. she's also this person right. you know what i mean um so yeah this is the whole idea of the the podcast so with that said uh where did you like where did you come from like what part of the philippines okay so i came from the a province mm -hmm. zambales oh nice. okay okay so, so, yeah, yes Love it's it. a Love very it. rural area mm -hmm. and then like you you like drive um 30 to one hour before yeah. getting to the city. Mm. Actually, we don't have a car. So basically, we just ride the jeepney. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, yeah, it's so hot in the Philippines. Okay. So yeah, one hour going to the city. And then I went to high school for like in Manila. Oh, okay. Okay. Wait, we're in Manila. Oh, my mom is here. Sorry. But... Hi, Tita. <laughs> Hello, po, Tita. Hello, po. <laughs> This is awesome. Hello, Bo. <laughs> I was just wondering who's my daughter's talking about. Yes. <laughs> She's awesome. Nice yes. yes. <laughs> we will. We will. Bye. We'll be nice. Bye. <laughs> Salamat, Bo. <laughs> that was awesome. That was nice. That was great. That was great. 
Um, so where, <laughs> where in Manila did you go to school? Oh, it's Cesar Rizal University. Oh, it's called no JRU. Way. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. And then I just go back and forth Manila to um, Zambales for vacations. But yeah. basically, I spent two years or three years to like finish my high school, like a mm. senior high school. Because lately, yeah. they just implemented it, I think, like 2017, 2018. The, so I'm one of those really? first people who's going to oh. like, who, I mean, who took the K to 12 mm, thing, but I'm glad I did because because yeah. I'm here, so I don't have to like take yeah. it here. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> um, so do you speak, are you on Ilocana or Kapampangan? Like which dialect did you, Actually, do you speak? Actually, yeah, because I cannot speak. No way, what? Yes, because wait, so most of the people in like, in Zambales, they yeah. talk, I think Ilocano. Yeah. And then my mom's family is like from Visaya, so they can they can speak Visaya. And yeah. then apparently I can. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't like you didn't learn the dialect. I just can like speak the Galug. That's it. I cannot <laughs> understand Ilocano. I cannot understand Visaya. Was it yeah. just because it's too hard, too difficult? Or you just choose not to. <laughs> it's it's like not too much. It is or maybe it's because. I grew up uh, with Tagalog, you yeah. know, Tagalog mm -hmm. language and English. So basically, maybe I just cannot afford to like learn yeah. another <laughs> dialect. <laughs> right, I don't right. Know. Your your English is pretty good, by the yeah. way. Yeah, especially for Thank someone you. who just moved here three yeah. years. You know, I was tripping. I was like, "Wait, you just moved here? Have you always, have you always spoken? I mean, you went to JRU, so you were like, you know, you speak, you can speak English there. You know, right? Do you guys speak I English think it's in JRU? Because us Filipinos, did you guys um? finish uh, i mean finish like elementary or grade school i um i moved here 2012 i mean he's american uh, so <laughs> yeah okay. so we basically study english right yeah yeah it's from great. kindergarten cool. till college kindergarten. yeah exactly <laughs> i think that's the reason why yeah every no, but, time people... i mean your english is still way better than a lot of people that we know in the philippines yeah. come on stop being humble oh. <laughs> come on now yeah you're not in the philippines you're here come on you went conyo oh my god yeah so yeah i, I don't know thank you guys yeah, yeah. <laughs> see I, I this i tell people this all the time right in in our um, podcast episodes in learn filipino pod if there's one thing that you need to learn about filipinos if you want to like give them the biggest compliment ever it's not it's not just you know they're beautiful beautiful poggy or cute or anything like that the biggest compliment that you can give a filipino is your english is very good <laughs> exactly <laughs> right and they're like oh yeah i am yeah thank it's you effective. <laughs> um, it's, it's, it's effective i can see right. you, know, like, <laughs> see that, you know right right so um you guys moved here um and i don't want to say I guess I can say the state, right? Like Nevada. You moved to Nevada. Yeah. Nevada, yes. Yeah, you guys moved to oh. Nevada three years ago. Um, and how that process happened? How did that process happen? Okay, so going back first, before I transition going to here. Yeah. Okay, so basically I applied, well, my parents applied me, <clears throat> excuse me, for like a V, is it a visa kind yeah, of? Yeah, like yeah, yeah, it's a visa. Yeah, around 2015. So, mm. so right before... I mean, what I mean, senior high school. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. And then I also took one year college before going here. It, it was around 2018, mm. I think. Yeah. Because mm. it was like my backup plan, you know? Right, As a right. Yeah, you have individual. to. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very intuitive. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. I mean, I want to, I want to sure, you know, I want to be sure about myself. So yeah. I took one year college in nursing. I mean, nursing in the Philippines. Yes. In okay. The nurses, Filipino nurses. Yep. <laughs> Who you represent. Yes. <laughs> and then, um, lucky. I, I mean, I was lucky. And mm -hmm. then I just got here. And then I stopped my education because it, it was pan pandemic so basically yeah. my papers i got like backlog is it yeah. how they call it here? like yeah push sure. back. yeah mm. so yeah. basically i should have like got my id earlier like you know documents mm -hmm. but i'm i'm legally here you know i'm <laughs> okay 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 i'm like how did she put, <laughs> how she went through immigration <laughs> right right we just want to clarify this because this is going to go in public we're all legals here <laughs> <laughs> we might be brown but we're all legals okay <laughs> <laughs> we're valid you know we're yeah. we got the but proof yeah, um, 
but it feels like I'm not. <clears throat> I'm. Not, I was not belong going here. Sorry. Yeah. <clears throat> because my papers are not yet like there. There, you know. Yeah. It's just that yes, I'm here in the state, but like my papers are like not telling me like you're not <laughs> appearing to be here. You know. You yeah. Know what gotcha. I'm like, no. No. I'm no. I get it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But you were you like you were able to work though, right? When you when you got here, in the not right away. Even oh, college, right. I cannot because really? of my being in state and out of state. You know. So how long did like, did you have to wait before you can actually do something? Exactly. So basically, what am I gonna do, right? Yeah. Here comes TikTok. But that happened. Oh. I mean, how long did you wait? Like, did you have to wait for six months to a year? Actually, I stopped my college for like a year. Mm-hmm. Mm. And then yeah, and then let's just make it a year and four months in a way thing with mm. without, you know, being feel secure like oh my gosh where is my Nevada ID I I think I need that right away because I want to go to college and then like people from the Philippines are like moving on you know what I'm saying like yeah. everything's walking I mean going to their like desired paths mm. and then I was like I'm still here <laughs> I'm, I'm like. <laughs> pause or like am i allowed to be here is it meant to be you know my right, Pisces right. Mm. Is being so yeah overthinking. <laughs> but man Very interesting united states have you ever thought like being in united states at all like was there I ev- did. was that was that ever a dream like i want to go to united I was a kid. States. Mm-hmm. as filipinos we love watching oh, movies yeah. american right. movies yeah i think that's how we also pick up english you know like right. speaking english okay right. so yeah i think i was like four mom actually told me like before i went like fluently like whole tagalog thing i was fluent in english as well oh that oh. makes perfect sense yeah and then he was like me like as a four-year-old five-year-old it's not normal for me it's not normal for typical kids to like approach so you're one of those adults. when you watch a movie that you see the lines like i know exactly the script or the the line of the movie yeah yes exactly <laughs> that was weird okay and then there's here's a funny thing so whenever i see a foreign like foreigners yeah. like not filipinos like foreigners yeah. even though i'm not sure if they're like really americans but i <laughs> talk to them in english oh. and then mom was like hmm, where's my child <laughs> and she goes, i won i mean she, she was like i bet there was like american people here like speaking english or something and yeah. then yeah she was right i was like talking to people like hi my name is mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Nice. Which is, i think it's not safe but like that's I how was you confident. get that's how you get kidnapped girl <laughs> yeah exactly like, i was so lucky yeah. <laughs> like i was not a typical you know like shy type child I, uh, I well we can that. tell we can tell by your tiktoks we can definitely tell you're not a shy type person <laughs> yeah very much <laughs> um, what is the uh you mentioned about a movie and you know being like the dream being in, in america based on some movies like american mm-hmm. movies my um my movie that made me want to go to the Fil- um, philippines but made me want to go to america was home alone like the very first Ooh. home alone when i okay. saw the houses and the snow and all that i'm like i want to go to america and live in one of those houses you know but what was your what was your american movie do you remember it's not a movie it's a tv show okay oh, okay blues clues really oh. Oh. <laughs> you know that house doesn't exist right <laughs> like, yeah, you do right that. yes <laughs> No that what. movie made me love dogs. I'm like, <laughs> I want the blue schools. Yeah. And then there's no breed like a blue school. <laughs> did you know um, Blue is a girl? I didn't know that. Yeah. Blue is a yeah, girl. Blue is a girl. We, we all, the, pink ones? the magenta is a girl too. Yeah, they're they're all both girls. girls. Yeah. And they're best friends. We all thought Blue is a boy, right? It's it's crazy. Yeah. Like when when they told me that, like Blue is a girl, I'm like, oh. What? I only figured out that it was a her is when Steve sometimes say she or her. Yeah. yeah. It was so weird. I guess that's because funny. we, you know, we acquainted blue to masculine. You yeah. Know, that's why we thought blue. Yeah, was maybe it, it was <laughs> because right. of that. And he's right. blue. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it, it kind of like, I feel like as a man, you want a boy dog. I don't know. I feel like that's that's like an automatic <laughs> stereo- stereotype yeah. when it comes to dogs. Um, speaking of which, not the stereotype, but being in America. Um, so you got here 2019, right? Dream come true. Uh, what month? 
March. March. Ooh, March 2019. Oh. That After was... my birthday. Yeah, yeah. Do you guys get um? Do you guys get snow in Nevada? I don't think so. Right? No, no, no snow. It's hot. I the think desert. Some part. I Wait, mean, for real? Maybe outside of Nevada. Nevada, I think. Oh, if oh, you so outside, go out. If you go out. Not oh. sure. Like it does snow like in Charleston. I'm not sure. Like gotcha. very, very far yeah. area. Like it does. It does snow. I think yeah. It's outside Nevada. I'm not sure. Have you seen snow? Have you experienced snow? Never. Never. Wow. Would you want to? You don't want to. Maybe I don't know. Maybe, you, but like my friends, my Filipino <laughs> friends in yeah. Canada, they were like, um, you wouldn't like the snow, <laughs> especially if you have white shoes. <laughs> oh no, not at all. It looks beautiful. Don't get me wrong. Like the first time I've seen snow, we're from Michigan. The first time we've seen snow, it was wonderful. It's majestic. It's magical, especially Chris, uh, Christmas Eve. You see that snow dropping? It's like, except blizzard. It's just <laughs> the snow <laughs> falling from the sky. I'm like, this is magical. Yeah. And then the day after when you have to shovel the driveway or yeah. drive on it, nope. Mm -mm. Now, the no. moment that you have to put work on snow, mm -mm. yeah. Mm -mm. No, it's not, That's what I heard. It's, yeah, it's no fun. I need negative things about snow. Yeah, <laughs> I get it. That was a good joke. Negative. <laughs> the snow. Anyway, um, so since you, when you got here, March 2019, uh, tell yes. us some of the tell us some of the culture shock that you experienced as soon Ooh, as you stepped in America. I like to like know. the things that you you can name all of them. I don't even care. We have time. The things that you like. Oh man, I didn't know that happens. I didn't know this is thing that you guys do, and we don't do that in the Philippines. Tell us some stories. Okay, I don't know, but this is the first thing that pop pops okay. in my head. So we were like in McDonald McDonald's. Yeah, yeah. Right. Evening, no? yeah. I was like. Um, where's where's the rice? Oh. <laughs> where's the rice meal? Yes. Even just like a chicken, you know, like a chicken, or maybe just, they could have just make you know mashed potato in it. Yeah, just right. a different mm. chicken, you know, chicken meal. I mean, yeah, like, yeah. I, I was like, where is it? I know, I know. And then there's another thing. I was like, can I? I was like, I needed something like to clean my hands. I was like, I was like. Um, hi, can I please get a tissue? Yeah, tissue. And they're, they're like weird about it. Yeah. And I'm like, tissue. I'm like, um, tissue? Like, they were like, tissue? Ugh. They were like that. I'm like, yes. <laughs> and oh, you mean table napkins? Oh. I'm like, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was a, when I learned about napkins in the Philippines, I get why yeah yeah well because it's it's weird too because tissues are mainly used in the bathroom right when you say tissues it's in the bathroom yeah like tps right mm -hmm. toilet paper tissue paper and then too. yeah tissue papers and things like that now when you go like to wipe your hands that's paper towel paper towel yeah and yes. napkins napkins could be Varieties. different you know variety yeah. of different things it can be sanitary pads too if you want to call that napkin <laughs> like, in my, <laughs> like in my eyes they're all tissues <laughs> exactly <laughs> <laughs> they're all paper. They do the same thing. They dry your hands. They they dry anything. <laughs> fair, fair game. Yeah, fair, fair. You can write your name or right. number or someone's number on it. You know, <laughs> it works. <laughs> yes. So what else? Okay, what else? Um, you know what's my one of my biggest culture shock, and it still makes me mad, is um how Americans, how Americans don't take off their shoes when they enter their house. Like yeah. that right. big thing is annoying. <laughs> right. I hate it. Uh, I hate it. So you're telling Luckily, me. I live in a Filipino household. So. <laughs> right. Oh, there's another there's thing. Two. There's uh, another thing. I don't know if Waka used to do this. So Waka lived in the Philippines for four years. Yeah. That's how we met. We met mm -hmm. in college. Um, I don't know if he used to do it before he went to the Philippines. But um, Americans don't necessarily have a, an outside clothes and an inside a house clothes. You know what I mean? Oh, we do. Oh, Oh, even well, at least oh. in my family. Oh, in your family, but in the Philippines, right? Like, if you go somewhere, like if you go to church or to the mall, once as soon as you get home, you change to your pambahay. Yes, right. Pambahay and then chinelas, mm -hmm. pambahay. Right, right. But here they don't. Like whatever they nah. wore outside, they're gonna wear it inside. I guess until they go to bed. Mm, um, yeah. In American movies, I see it a lot. They're like wearing they their the shoes PJs in their bed. And all that. Oh, oh yeah, God. that's <laughs> annoying. That was I annoying. Hate that. I hate that. <laughs> that was, the, so, how so many it, times do you clean your house? Never. Oh. Uh, <laughs> every time we talk about this, I always think about this one um, TikTok joke or video that I always see. So there's this one video about um, my culture, Samoans, and they ask, "So how do uh, 
how do you feel about Samoans dating other people outside of Samoans? And then the fellas be like, oh man, it's a dream come true when we date with a, 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 a white girl. Or how do you say it? <laughs> you say palang. <laughs> I always say palang. <laughs> and when we date with a white girl, it's it's a dream come true. We can walk inside with our shoes <laughs> and not take it off anymore. <laughs> yeah. It was really annoying. Oh I, man. I, I don't like it. I know I agree with the with the rice. When I went to um well first of all, we don't have Jollibee in here in Michigan, which is like the worst thing we in the world. Jollibee here. I know, I hate it. We <laughs> have Jollibee but not in Nevada? It. Yep, we have here. Yeah, like, no. it's like twenty minutes away. Yeah, that's oh. We yeah, have at least one, you have one. Yeah, but just a, we have one, but it's in like in Detroit, so it's about so it's like an 40, hour away. forty-five an hour away. So I'm not gonna drive. I love Jollibee, but it's not enough <laughs> to drive. I love Jollibee too, but like here's the thing. Disclaimer: I I don't hate Jollibee. Okay. <laughs> so, uh oh, like, she's about oh, she's about to say something anti-Filipino oh, right now. <laughs> okay. So like what I hear. noticed is just that maybe it's because of the ambience, uh -huh. or it's just me or my taste buds. Uh huh. I don't but like I feel it's really different when you eat Jollibee in the Philippines compared in here. Oh, that's, oh yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. Yes. yes. I I ate their spaghetti, mm -hmm. and I was looking for that hot dog taste yeah. in the spaghetti, like the sweet hot dog taste. Yeah. I cannot. I cannot really. There's taste none. It here. What? I mean, there is here, but like, I cannot taste it. Is this a Filipino hot dog? I'm like, um, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, not it's, not question, right. I it's, it's not the same, guys. I don't think it's not the same hot dog. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. It doesn't taste the same oh yeah chickens it's okay gravy it's okay it's really good <laughs> spaghetti because i always eat chicken spaghetti and then extra rice yeah <laughs> chicken sweet um spaghetti with hot dogs <laughs> and then rice you know? that's like mm, the combination yeah, but... it's a horrible combination for americans like you eat rice with spaghetti and i'm like yeah, <laughs> yeah. it works <laughs> it's amazing we call it super meal you so, know? Exactly. Like, <laughs> and then pineapple juice you know oh man that's right. what i miss right <laughs> But we don't have Jollibee here. We have, uh, they just had a Chick fil A, but I was like, I don't care about Chick fil A. I want my Jollibee. Like, give me Jollibee or mm -hmm. Chowking. But well, we don't. We have, Do you guys have Chowking? No, no. We don't have any. We have Chowking here. Yeah, we don't have Wait. Filipino maybe restaurants. It's because, maybe it's because the same owner, there's the same owner because it's, it's like Jollibee here and then Chowking here. Oh. But still, I never. I cannot remember when was the last time I ate in Chowking because it's still different. Wait, oh, so, like, oh, yeah. If you have maybe, Chowking there, do they have Greenwich? No. No, mm. I wish. Wow. Or, gold, yeah, or Goldilocks. Yes, we do, but like away. I don't know. Oh, they always, they always put stuff. I mean, this place is very far away. <laughs> yeah, mm. I guess it depends on the the pop the Filipino popularity. You know. Yeah. Yes, but yeah, Goldilocks. They have. I like Goldilocks. They I they like they have it here. I yeah. like the dinuguan and puto. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> it is super okay. I don't know. For she me, went straight to I think, I think that it's an underrated, like, you know, dinuguan? underrated thing. Dinuguan oh. with puto? P oh, yeah, absolutely. Like, oh, okay. you kidding me? Like, um, oh, champurado puto, with tuyo, puto. it's so good. It's so good. Yeah. I don't even really? like tuyo. Like, I don't eat tuyo with just rice or sausawan. But if I eat it with dinuguan, it's just, it's a whole. Dinuguan or champurado? <laughs> oh, uh, sorry, champurado. It's like a terrible, if you look at it, it's, it's a terrible, terrible combination. You know? think about it. Yes. Chocolate and, and, and salted so, fish. Salted like, fish. what? <laughs> but they really blend? They, they, yeah, they work. <laughs> Okay. It's because sweet and salty, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. It's like if if you tell it, me to eat it, here, it eat good. some eat some chocolate with I don't know what's a salty thing, cheese like chocolate and cheese. It uh -huh. doesn't work. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> How much egg? Yeah, I, I mean they're both in the same dairy, but no. No, it doesn't work. But yeah, it works. Do you champurado. put milk on your champurado? Yes, a hundred percent powdered powdered milk too. I don't do like I don't do liquid yeah. milk. I do powdered milk. I, I I do condensed milk and powdered milk. <laughs> Wait, for real? I, I do oh. both. I didn't yeah. know that. Oh, no, no, not condensed. Eva oh. Evaporated milk and then powdered milk. And then, so I put the evaporated milk, right? And then I mix it. And then I put the powdered milk on top and I don't mix it. I eat it with the powdered milk. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. It's like a, it's a float, you know, like floating. Let it flow in the champurado. I also <laughs> put um, Milo in it. Milo? Milo. Oh, I haven't yes. heard that name in forever. Top it with Milo. Ah, do you so go good. Milo or Ovaltine? I can do Ovaltine, but I, I'm more of a Milo person. <laughs> they don't mm. taste the same, right? Like, I'm a, I'm not sure. I feel like Milo is better for me. Yeah, but but 
generally speaking, they don't taste the same. I I have a bunch of my friends said they taste the same, but I'm like, no, they, no. they just Ovaltine they distinctly chocolate, taste yeah, different. Yeah, you can tell different. Yeah, it's like it's like Coke and Dr Pepper, like totally different <laughs> taste. Yes, you know. Especially, I just I think I mostly eat Ovaltine. Yes, I eat it when they have the oh, candies. Oh yes, yes. Oh, I don't Ooh. even do the candy. I do the pack, and then I'll just eat the powder. <laughs> like, I don't oh. <laughs> they have they have it before. I'm not sure if they have it until now, but yeah. I believe they had it before, like the little candies yeah. for the pack. That's that's how I like <laughs> describe how different it is. Like yeah. Ovaltine and Milo. No, nope, they don't. They don't yeah, really. They don't. I do like I I love beer brand milk. And I'll oh. just eat it. Like I don't even like do anything with it. I just scoop it and <laughs> just put it in my mouth and then <laughs> eat it. I get yelled at by my parents all the time. Okay. Stop eating the milk. <laughs> Stop <laughs> eating the milk. <laughs> Another fun fact, though. Uh -huh. um, I don't know if it's a fun fact or if okay. even if it's fun, but I used to like taste. Well, eat not taste. Cerelac. <laughs> oh yes, the, um, the baby food. Yeah, the baby powder milk. Oh yeah. Oh, all yes, day. Yes, the banana yeah. ones, wheat and banana. So oh really? Oh. Yes. Is that the, the one that they, they turn to? Flavor. They turn to oatmeal or something? It's not an oatmeal. I. It's like a melted, more liquidy oatmeal. Yeah. Oh yes, yes. You said like you mix water with it and then you just mix it and then mm -hmm. it, it 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 clumps up and you mm. feed that to babies. Yeah, but I like yeah. it better if it's like just powder. Just powder. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. I, I do that I think too. I know what you guys are talking about, but I don't know. Uh, um, Cerelac, Enfamil, any, okay. any like baby okay. milk powder. Any formula? <laughs> like, it doesn't powder. matter. I eat any it. Any formula? Okay. <laughs> yes. I used to like Asa Tita, like Filipina Tita, the yes. auntie Tita. Yes, yes. So I used to make Cerelac for my baby cousins. You know how big families. Right, yeah. Well, yeah. not everyone, but like, you know, typical mm -hmm. Filipino family. Yeah. Have. Is that you guys' secret of staying young? Eating baby food? Oh, that's kind of conspiracy. No, we don't eat babies, <laughs> people. Baby <laughs> food. <laughs> baby food. Did you hear what I just said? Disclaimer, baby everyone. We're not eating baby food right now. So. <laughs> no, yeah. Although it's the, not a potion. Though. Although the baby food here in America tastes horrible. Have you had those? This, I believe so. They the taste cup. horrible. Yeah, they look terrible. Yeah. I won't even eat it. She says it looks terrible. I don't know terrible. how they eat it. I don't know how. Like, it, it's gross. What, and the baby fo uh, food here? Yeah. All those baby food with the baby. Um, oh, the gerber, gerber. Yeah, those gerber. gerber like mm. the gerber in the Philippines tastes way better. I don't know what you guys are feeding babies. I didn't even taste the gerber thing. I can, I cannot remember when it tasted. <laughs> no, like, when I, I think gerber, I think about it. the little baby face. Yeah, right, right. I'm more of a like a uh, you know presentation. You know, I want it good like <laughs> like packaging. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh man all right so 2019 to 20 um what is it now 2022 three years right and you're 22 right that's crazy yes nice wow 22 Whew. um they were 22. so you didn't start any any form of social media when you were in the philippines like um i, I you, have but i never took it seriously i mean i just keep on uploading i was like okay i might need this picture in the future or yeah. like i want to see myself yeah. like looking back you know it's like a <laughs> open diary kind of thing or right. a photo album like uh, my own picture uh -huh. so i was yeah. like okay i'm just gonna upload it so yeah i i never deleted any pictures from my instagram like way past 27 i think my first upload was like 2017 2016 or even gotcha. like maybe 2014 I never deleted them because I feel like it's part of my, you know, my journey. Journey, yarn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, book, yarn. No matter how, like, how I look. Yeah. I just want to see it, you know, theme, theme, the new sound. Oh, right. It, it, it right. changes. Good night. Yeah. <laughs> so you just, you just post for, for, um, just posting, but you're not content creating. Is that what's happening? Yes. Okay. I just posted it because I think that people are doing it too. <laughs> like, right. Right. So you just went with the flow with everyone else. Yes. Mm. Yeah. And I, I never see myself. I don't even know what content creating me like means until like twenty. Twenty nineteen. Yeah. Until I mean twenty twenty. Right. So you. I didn't you, even know that I was content creating when I was like making TikTok. <laughs> well, technically, your pictures is a content creator, but yes, you know, in exactly. intentionally making content for views is a different story. Like mm. that's a different ball game for yes. sure. Um, your very first content, your very first post, you got twenty five thousand views, <clears throat> right? And that was like the, um, uh, the very okay. low quality ones. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. Um, 
so all your when you when you left Philippines, did you leave anybody? Like any? Because I know you were you were with your mom, right? Has your mom always lived in America? No, she just got here when I got here too. So, so you guys like, all moved oh. together. She was like my trouble buddy. Gotcha, oh. gotcha. Oh wow, all right. Yeah, I I noticed you guys make some videos together. Like mm -hmm. when you guys went to um, L.A. Was it L.A.? Yes, yeah, she went to likes California. it. She likes it. It's funny because when we have that conversation, I'm like, hey, let's do a TikTok. And then she's like, my request for the chat. Ready to like it. Ano yung title? Like, uh -huh. what trend? Yeah. So, in the explain, so, what trend? So, in the explain, so, what trend? 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 Yeah, so when you when you move from the Philippines, did you leave anybody? Like any other family members or Yes. Yeah. So my cousins were like fourteen members mm -hmm. in the co like cousins. Just cousins were like fourteen. So yeah. basically we were like sisters and brothers. So yeah, I left them and then big family. I cannot even count how many we are mm -hmm. in the family. Maybe let's say twenty members. Yeah. Or like mm. more. <laughs> I'm not surprised. <laughs> <And> then, <laughs> yeah. I even left my dog. Sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, so who has your dog now? My grandparents. Mm -hmm. Well, she has a job to do. I, I, I said like, like be a guide. You know, be yeah. a guide. My, you know, what's, what's the name? What's the name of your dog? Oh, her name's Stacy. She's Stacey. a German Shepherd. Oh. I left there. She was like nine years old. Nice. Oh, eight. Nine. Let's say nine. Yeah. So yeah, she's watching over my family now. Right now, she's um ten. Yeah. I mean, no. It was three 11, years. That would be like 12. 12. Yeah. yeah. That was 12, yeah. 12 years. Like 12. Yeah. Her birthday is January 16th. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. Just birthday. Yeah. She missed she her. Remembers. Yeah. She I just remembers. sent them. Yeah. I even, yeah. like, my shirt, not uh -huh. to be gross, okay, yeah. but I wore, like, one night. This one night, I wore a shirt. Uh -huh. I, I didn't even wash it. I just put it in a bag because mom is going to. Send balik buying boxes. Yeah, you know, yeah. Filipinos. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> and boxes. Yeah. Pasalubong and that. So, yeah, that was my pasalubong to her. Like, you know, my smile. Mm -hmm. So, just she remembers me. Oh, she will oh. remember you. She will never I, forget I you. you. Yeah. So, yeah, I hope. No, she <laughs> so won't. So, I just send her stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, she's doing a great job because in Zambales <laughs> is a province. So, she likes to run on, on mm -hmm. the grass, you know, like yeah. with other dogs, with maybe goats. Because <laughs> <laughs> if she's gonna go here in Nevada, it's too hot. I don't think it's healthy for her to like travel to, and it, and it and it is expensive for sure. Yeah. Yep. Mm, yep. Expensive. And the stress. I get, yes. Mm -hmm. Stress. I don't want her to like put her through with an eighteen hour. Something, eighteen something hours. Fun. That's eighteen Wait, hours. Did you do a straight flight or did you do any overtime? I did straight flight for eighteen hours. Wait. Wait. So I did. From Philippines to Korea. Uh -huh. Okay, so you did stop. And then over. Korea to here. So basically, yeah, when you count it overall, I think it's like 18 hours. Really? Oh, sure. uh, if it's yeah, Korea to here, <clears throat> that's still like a straight shot. Dang. Right? It's still right. Because like um, a... when we went here, we went from the Philippines to Japan, and that was about three hour flight. And then Japan to, um, what do you go? Detroit is 17 hours. So about 20 hours. And that's <clears throat> going. I think going against the rotation of the Earth, mm. you know, physics, mm -hmm. science. If yeah, you go but still, kahit na sabi nila, it's like eighteen hours long. Still, you spend basically like whole day, like oh, twenty four yeah. hours because of the oh, layover, yeah. and then yung pakiramdam mo para kang like time travel. <laughs> right, <laughs> right, right. Doctor Strange. <laughs> like I slept literally. I slept three times on the plane, and I couldn't. I couldn't. Like I slept, woke up. We're still not there. Slept again. Woke up. We're still not there. It was boring. <laughs> it was horrible. Yes, <laughs> the I, worst. I felt horrible. Too. Yeah, it was a horrible like, flight. I feel like I didn't shower for like a week oh, or something. Right. Oh, right. Yeah. I, feel so, I, don't, I was like, I'm on a plane. I didn't even do anything, any yeah. physical activities. Yeah, I, don't, <laughs> I don't think no matter how long you be in the plane, the moment you step in the plane, probably even for an hour, you feel dirty. Yeah, it's feeling uh, again. Yeah. Yeah, because you're in a tube. With a bunch more people and you're sitting there breathing, breathing the in same air. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. over and over yeah, right. oh man yeah let's talk about your um social media yeah um you said okay, 
you said there's a story behind Alex the Great. So yes. in Instagram, your name is Rika, but in uh, TikTok, your name is Alex the Great. So tell us the story. What makes you so great? Okay, so since <laughs> I was a kid, I mean, let's say for yeah, I don't like my name, <laughs> like Rika. I feel like it's very, it's corny for me. You know? Really? Like, oh, come on. Yeah, really? I feel corny being oh. called Rika, and my name is Rika. Uh -huh. I was like. Thankfully, I have Alexandra, and then I was like, "Hmm, I think I want Alex." When I go to the, like, when I go here in the U.S., I'm like, "Please call me Alex." <laughs> like, not please call me Alex, but like, I wa I wanted to be called. So you Alex. introduce yourself, like this is my name, but you can call me Alex. Yeah, um, kind of. I think so. Yeah, but for like for formality, let's say for documents, of course, I will say Rico Alexandra. So basically, I have two. Still, I still have two names here in the U.S. because. Yeah. Like formal, like in the banks or like school. Yeah, they always yeah. call me Rika, and then but for my friends and all or the rest, just Alex. And then I was like, hmm. I was in TikTok. I was like, what's what should be my name? Because at first my name was just mm. Rika Alexandra, and I'm like, hmm. Why did I still bring yeah. Rika? My nickname. <laughs> I didn't even want it to. Yeah. So like, I want people to know who I want to be. You know, I was like, hmm, Alex, and then I'm like. Great, Alex. <laughs> it just went like poof. I didn't even think about like long time, like five minutes. I was like, okay, Alex the Great. Okay, just put it there. And I'm like, <laughs> they keep on denying me because they said someone took it already. Like oh. you need to change it. Oh. I'm like, no. If this is gonna work, I'm gonna change my name. So I, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna put underscore in it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, it no numbers. That works. I don't like putting numbers on my like my social account like, uh, for me it's corny that next generation Alex the great um what 11 or what, two or three <laughs> oh my god like, it's like a judge one days in a movie. <laughs> yeah i know i'm a millennial and that's a millennial kind of thing yeah, we put, we put numbers there he has like four or five numbers in his gmail four or five numbers no I that's not two. true it's two. just two numbers so alex the great is it from the you know like alexander the great Extra, is that where yeah. you where you got it I, I heard of him, but uh, yeah, I think I believe so. Yeah, oh, you didn't like, even it realize? Just, it just wait, it just Alexander poof. the Great. Yes, I didn't even. I don't. I don't like basing my personality or my name. Oh with, no, no, absolutely like, associating not. Associating with them, so I was like, I just want to be me. And yeah. then the word "great," I think that it fits. So you name, took the right? name Alexander the Great, not knowing who Alexander the Great is. No, Alex the Great. Oh, Alex the Great. I was gonna say. Yes, yeah. because no, it's she, different though. Because yeah, Alexander. She, yeah, she put Alex the Great without knowing who Alexander the Great is. Oh, what? Yeah, it just works perfectly. Wow. Yeah. I feel like we're different. We're too different in the Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, very well, first of all, he's Greek. He's dead. So, <laughs> and, and that, that too, he's dead. <laughs> and you're great in your own way, you know? Like, he's great in his own <laughs> oh, way. Yeah. Um, he Made conquered, like, so many countries. Yep. Um, okay. Killed probably millions of people, but you're great in your own way. <laughs> and you're killing it on and TikTok. Then, <laughs> oh, oh nice. in Instagram, yes. So, Matias underscore Rika. The mm -hmm. reason behind it also is that I... I, I didn't take I mean Instagram seriously so I was like putting my name randomly I am trying to change it but I cannot change it because people like took over the name somehow mm. so I need to keep on thinking like what else should I put yeah I want my name Alex on my IG handle because brands want me like they call me Rika they call me Alex <laughs> yeah. you know? did you try did I you try any me. like uh, um, underscore Alex great Alex the Great or Alexandra the Great or Alex underscore the Great. I did many things. Really? Okay. Even I, I was like, hmm. I was. Like, I, I'm not gonna put numbers on it, but I tried. Yeah. It yeah. worked, but I don't want it. I yeah. don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Have you tried like um, instead of it. instead of T H E like just D Alex D Great? Yes, I did. Really, and still didn't work. Maybe Instagram people yeah. took it over. Or you can yeah, do. Or, uh, I, I know you hate numbers because I was gonna say like G R eight T, you know. <laughs> like, <laughs> nope, not for me. Uh, yeah, so it. right now I'm still in the process of still thinking or coming up with the name that yeah. you know still me, not put numbers on it probably. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you said you um, when you started doing your TikTok, you didn't find your niche. Have you found your niche yet so far? Because I know niches change, like depending on the trends, depending on your mood, depending on where you at in life. But right now, what is your niche? Honestly, I don't believe in niche. Really? Like, really? Yes. I. It's like I know I must have like people. I need people to know me, mm -hmm. but like people moods. 
people's perception, vibes, they change. Yeah. Oh, it's never like it's constantly changing, so it's never like it stays the same. Mm. So what mood are you in now? I'm on right now, I'm basically like more general. I just do lifestyle. Gotcha. Okay. I feel like lifestyle Makes content sense. is more of uh it covers many things. So lifestyle may basically me. What are you gonna see? My face, my vibe, yeah, my yeah. Joke, my laughs, my and it worked. Yeah. I don't know how or why people like like me to see in my videos. Like honestly, I don't even watch my own video. My mom watches my video. I don't want her to watch so my you're... video. <laughs> you do all take one take? You don't do redos? No drafts? No I nothing? Do redos. Oh. I do redos a mm. lot. <laughs> mm. At times, like luckily, I don't know. It feels like it's being me as a Pisces. I I am very <laughs> conservative. Like I double check it. Like I make sure I don't harm any people. I don't like you oh, know. Okay. I'm very like you know. I don't want, I don't want walking in eggshells and trying to oh this is me. I want to push this and not. I I'm always like emotional. <laughs> I think so people are emotional. She's driving so, the center road. Just she's on, she's yes, not on I'm the like, right or the left. She's just just right in the middle. Yes, and I'm like, <laughs> okay, I think this is like friendly, like kid family friendly content. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's me. Yeah, you know, because I know TikTok have many children, like kids. User, yeah, so. I te I I told that to our previous um, guest. Whether we like it or not, TikTok is for kids. Like. It, it's mm -hmm. the TikTok is mm -hmm. um, the demographic of TikTok is for kids. Yeah. It's not for you know teenagers. Yeah. It's not for us. You know, twenty two, um, twenty nine year old people. It's literally for thirteen year old <laughs> kids. Like the majority of our viewers, the majority of people that's watching TikTok scrolling is just kids. Just kids. You know. Yeah, that's true. Um, maybe the well, like. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, so well, I remember I had an issue with TikTok about mm -hmm. being the kids thing, but still, um, they look, I look like a kid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah. they took down one of my videos that went viral, uh, and I cannot take it back. It was, there's like, a, it was so depressing. Let me, let me tell you a conspiracy theory. I don't know if you heard about this, but there's a conspiracy yeah. theory about TikTok, right? So yeah. people that takes down, oh, people, um, this the the stuff that take down our videos, right? There are people that take down our videos. It's not like a it's not like a computer kind of thing with There's algorithm. algorithm. Yeah. Like yes. it's it's people. Like there are some people who's hired by TikTok. I don't know if it's third party or TikTok itself. Um, have people that watches. I don't want to say every single videos, but watches some random videos, and they get to decide if they want to take it down or not. So the takedown it depends on the person. If this person thinks that's a passable video, they'll pass it. If now if you ask another person and they think it's not a passable video, then they will take it down. You know what I mean? So, so this is a, so this is where the that's not even the conspiracy theory. The conspiracy. Th Blah, blah, blah. The conspiracy, blah, blah. <laughs> the conspiracy <laughs> theory lies on once you hit a certain amount of followers and you're going big and going viral, right? They said that TikTok intentionally take down some of your viral videos and come up with the stupid stories like you are this and that and you're young and things uh. like that, and they will make a bargain with you. It's either it's either they said. Um, one of the employees will DM you with their personal account and said, Hey, I work for TikTok. If you send me amount of money, I'll bring back your video. That was a conspiracy uh, theory, right? I don't know if it's true, but that's what they jaw said. Drop. I'm having jaw drop. Like. <laughs> <laughs> right? right? Really? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. And they said that there's some videos, there's some content creators. They said that <clears throat> um, they have this viral video and for some reason they just take it down like for exactly. what reason and they're like i don't know and that happened to me many times yeah yeah and it sucks too because it's like you work hard on that video and you're expecting it's gonna go viral and then next thing you know it's gone and you can't even like complain like i there's nothing in there and i'm 22 year old tiktok come on <laughs> you know <laughs> i'm not and i'm not even like creating money like from the views of tiktok basically i'm not taking money like out of them really wait you I, haven't I applied realize. yet I have applied it. Uh -huh. I mean, yes, I did. Like, I'm a content creator. Bus I think they call it business. Yeah, yeah. Something. Kind of I don't thing. know. Something, something. Ambassador or uh, something like that. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, like, to be honest, I'm going to transparent. I have, like, $20 on that account on TikTok. Hey, $20 and hey, $20. Come on. You're $20 more dollars richer than I am. Yeah. Or any <laughs> No, honestly, it's because people expect me to gain, like, a lot of, since I have, like, many followers, mm -hmm. they, like, 
assume like I get a thousand dollars or like you know yeah, five hundred dollars. But like, I know assumption. money is still the money, but still, it's like their expectation of TikTok paying creators. Mm -hmm. I don't even know how much they pay. I think it's cents per view per a thousand views. Yeah. I think it's cents. Right. Yeah. No, so I I agree. I'm just yeah. being transparent that yes, I am. I did earn twenty twenty dollars. Mm -hmm. hey, it is still there. It something. is still money. It's yeah, not bad. That's something. Mm -hmm. Yes, but still, it's like people just expect me to like earn more of it because yeah. I have a lot of followers. So I'm just being transparent that no, it's not. This is the reality. Like you earn like cents for a thousand views. Right. Like, how many people? How many people have to like? <laughs> it can't compare video? with um, the amount you can make in YouTube, right? No, YouTube is a different ball game, which brings me to the question: um, What uh, do you are you planning to go to a different platform, not just TikTok? Because now you have a uh, twenty thousand followers on TikTok, yes. and you have about what fifteen hundred on Instagram. Eighteen hundred. Eighteen hundred on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> um, have you are you planning to go to different avenues like YouTube or <clears throat> or things like that? I have an interesting question because I haven't considered YouTube yet because I'm like, I want to grow my Instagram too. Mm -hmm. So for now, because my goal was like grow my TikTok. And then now my next goal is to like pull my Instagram. It's basically like pulling my accounts like TikTok and then Instagram and then TikTok. Yeah. So like right now I'm trying to push my Instagram more by uploading every day. But like lately, I'm, I'll admit I haven't uploaded a lot yeah. of Instagram mm -hmm. posts. And reels, I believe Instagram is really pushing out reels right now. So that's how I get my impressions. Mm -hmm. Impressions yeah. are very helpful while mm -hmm. working with fans because they are asking for it. Right, right. Ooh. You cannot lie about it. Like the demographic, the percentage of like the gender, yeah. what location, everything. So basically, I'm really growing my Instagram right now. But in opportunity, opportunity if growing my, maybe starting my YouTube career, mm -hmm. I don't know yet. But yeah. I'm open mm -hmm. to possibilities. So. Mm. What are your demographics? Well, because the the I'm sorry the the problem with the Instagram, um, you have to. So the the thing that I noticed with Instagram Reels, they're pushing Reels so much, and you know, same thing with um, Facebook because they're me they're, yeah, they're meta. Mm -hmm. um, in comparison to TikTok, the TikTok viewers majority of them are real people. In, in Instagram Reels, I feel like it's it's computerized viewers, you know, like because if you if you see your your Instagram and you have like fifteen thousand viewers, you get excited. So now I'm gonna put post again another Reels and you get like ten thousand viewers. Oh, I'm gonna post again because you know you get excited. That's I, I feel like that's what they're trying to get us. They're like oh, you get more views here than you go to TikTok, so mm. might as well just go to Instagram Reels. But if you look at the the views to like ratio, it doesn't make any sense. Like you have fifteen thousand views and then you have like two likes, that doesn't make any sense, you know? Yes, it doesn't. It doesn't right. <laughs> right. Mm. Yes, but I think I believe in um, Instagram. I did have like let's say one to five ratio ratio like reaches a hundred likes for the reels. Oh, okay. No, that's good. Maybe that's the maybe that's the ratio because I think one of my real reels was like it reached five thousand. Mm -hmm. It has like five hundred likes. I think that's oh, like yeah. the max that I can get right now because I just right. I got I I have like eighteen hundred followers. Right. But basically, yeah, I'm just trying to grow my followers. Mm. And let's see, it's really hard to gain followers on Instagram, unlike on TikTok. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. In TikTok, you're always introduced to new people, mm -hmm. new people to see you on your mm -hmm. on their. FYP. Right. right. On Instagram, it's usually you and your followers. And it's open to like discovering like the explore page and yeah. stuff like that. But I feel like it's more easier to reach people in TikTok, like new people. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Because right? as soon as you open um, TikTok, as FYP shows up, you know? Yeah. Like it's, it's FYP. In Instagram, it's your followers and people that's fo no, your, your followers. You have to go to discover to find other random accounts. Mm. You know what I mean? And then that a question comes into my, into my mind right now. Like, how about in YouTube? How was it like in YouTube? You, man, is you, it more you, on TikTok kind of thing, or like where you meet or you are introduced to new people, or it's like Instagram, like really who follows you 
they just see or like yeah, is there a, any discovery page or like it's a it's a completely different ball game like the i haven't really learned or study youtube that much but based on what i've heard from a lot of podcasters and a lot of people like mr beast i listened to one of his right. episodes um it's a completely different monster yeah so it's based on mm -hmm. your thumbnail right your thumbnail if you put thumbnails in there that's interesting to the eye they'll put it um you will be in the front of youtube as soon as you type youtube.com it's going to be in there um thumbnails titles if it's um clickbaits like clickbait titles um you also have um the the minutes and the type of the type of content that you're going to do like a lot of content creators do like the how-to videos like the how-to titles and that's what shows up right away because what you want it's it's not just to show up in youtube.com but also in recommendations so if you watch this video it's going to be you know those recommended videos on the side you want to be there too so they can see you and it's like it's it's i don't know it's, it's a completely different, different game different yeah. World, yeah yeah i mean if you go to YouTube, what kind of content are you are you gonna do? Exactly. Right. <laughs> That's right? a good question. Right? That's are a you, good question. I need to. Right. Are you gonna vlog? Are you gonna be a reactor? Are you gonna be? I don't know. It's it's. A like, lot of my friends in in the Philippines, they're really cheering me up and being proud. Hey, you reached like twenty k in yeah. TikTok. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Right before. Right. Even I gain like a thousand followers. They're like, hey, go, go do YouTube. I think people will like you and. I was like, um, okay, I will try. I keep on saying I will try, I will try, mm -hmm. but I never tried. Maybe because I don't know myself yet. I mean, it's not that I don't know 100% myself yet. Like, I still want to like be on YouTube and just be prepared for it. No, that's, no, no, that that's healthy. That's definitely healthy. Cause I'm get... not sure. Because I want to be like, I want to know more of myself before like letting people to know me. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah. And content, like and content creation is uh it's a full-time job because i know and i'm gonna ask you oh, this man. what's your what's your you mentioned that your content creation time is the weekends right that's why you could do this podcast yes so how how, do, how does it work like what's your preparation um on like the, the weekdays do you consume just information and no trends and then you plan it you write it down and then um shoot and post on saturdays like how does it work as much as possible like i always am with my phone i always use my phone when i can mm -hmm. when i'm in my breaks yeah i always like watch tiktoks oh this is the trending sounds yeah this is the trend content you know i always do that and like before my bedtime or like mornings when i'm like just eating you know i sacrifice watching movies and then i just keep on like watching content because right now i mean before i was like my schedule it's like every weekdays like every friday is my content day uh -huh. because my schedule in school in nursing school is different yeah but okay. right now my classes are fridays right so basically it's the whole thing that i need to change yeah so fridays and then weekends i do content creating weekdays i do searching like you know um what do you call it like is it, do you call it canvassing like looking for contents yeah you're just time. consuming like you're just consuming yeah. content yeah. just learning and then yeah. trying to listen to podcasts mm. every night and then see how tiktok really is or instagram like how content creators are working managing their time so yeah. i believe that yes i agree it is a nine to five job mm -hmm. basically i do it like every day even in school i try to like watch tiktoks and during break it really is yeah. a nine to five or nine to twelve i don't know 24 hours yeah yeah wow yeah. yeah so it's really it's really a sacrifice you know or maybe it just suits me because i don't have anything on my schedule besides job mm -hmm. and then nursing school although those big i mean those two are a big thing because mm -hmm. nursing school is so serious but i am part-time in school so basically mm -hmm. every friday i'm like nine to I, it's eight to like let's say five or mm -hmm. four p.m so basically it's a whole day yeah but still i really i am really thriving you know still trying to like right. my yeah. tiktok time so do you and, um uh, do you like when you when you go to tiktok let's say tiktok or instagram right yeah. do you do it for consuming content or for entertainment like what's your ratio on just consuming 
and like i'm gonna go here just to have fun and watch videos and you know waste time like what's your ratio what do you find yourself doing my ratio maybe uh -huh. i'm gonna just put it as a percent yeah 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 and let's say like 20 percent of the time of course i do entertainment mm -hmm. i just want to see like hey how how is my family doing because yeah. basically <laughs> i put stuff yeah that's my motivation but like before it was like 50 50 like mm -hmm. 50 percent i want to see how they're doing but like i feel like being here changed me and then oh right huh. yeah and then mental health you know you know culture shock you yeah. know like you have to move on you know yeah, yeah. culture shock came again so yeah um i just i just feel like it wasn't healthy you know to like mm. keep on checking on people right so right what i did i was like i gained i mean, I mean it's like i realigned my focus mm -hmm. and then i was like okay i'm gonna instead of doing this I'm going to minimize like maybe 20, 10 to 20%. Okay. I'm checking up on them or just doing it for entertainment. And then most of the time I really do like for consumption, for, for learning. Mm -hmm. And then every morning I also do checking my emails. It's always easy because you have your phone. So you can just yeah. check your emails right. or just go to right. TikTok like five minutes after or like, you know, keep on changing. I don't, be I believe that I don't have like, like a formal schedule for the day. Because I feel like it pressures me, but also it, it's a good thing, right? Like you plan ahead, right? Yeah, yeah right. Nothing wrong. But with sometimes that. I feel like I feel pressured. <laughs> Somehow I don't know why. Because maybe because I'm just intuitive, you know. Right, yes, we're right. intuitive people. You need to plan ahead, but like sometimes I'm, I feel pressured. Like yeah, is, yeah. is this my life? Right? <laughs> so. You know what? You know what? I started doing. Um, I I got a voice recorder. And if I have an idea, instead of writing it down, because I get lazy of just writing it down, pulling out my paper or even my phone, I get a voice recorder. If I if I if I come up with a idea of something, right? Whether it's my job or content creation, I pull out that recorder and it's like, this is the idea that I have, and let's try it out. Mm. And then next time, if I want to post something, I listen to that recording, and it, it works. It it helps me. You know, it's like it's like myself motivate motivating myself from the time that I'm in the mood of making creation. Like I'm so passionate and so happy, and I'm gonna record myself. Hey, <laughs> do this, do this idea, and then when I'm like, oh, what am I gonna do? Listen to it and like myself encouraging myself. You know. <laughs> yes, I have it in my notes That's too, funny. like in my phone. I yeah. was a, I was at the gym earlier. I was yeah. like work and like doing my bicep curls. I'm like, hmm, there's a content that I was like, I know to myself that I'm gonna forget it. Like. Yeah. 30 minutes after. So I'm like, okay, bring it. I, I brought it down and just type it, just write the content and then <laughs> nice. try to like make keywords in a way that I will remember what it is. Right. Yeah, that's, that <laughs> that's good. That's good. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> yeah. So on the, week, right. no, on the weekends, when you make content um, and he asked you this earlier, do you draft? Do you draft video? Like what's you your, what's, what's your plan? Oh yeah. How many? 200. Whoa. Oh, wow. Wow. Or it, I think it's even 230. 200 nice. plus basically. So on Man, a Saturday, a of... how many like how many videos do you record? On a okay, typical the, Saturday. The maximum that I did so far, the record. Uh -huh. <laughs> I did within 3 days, I did 40 TikToks. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Wow. Okay. Yes, cuz yeah, because I met a friend and mm -hmm. then he is working in TikTok Australia. Yeah. Thanks mm. so Shout out to him. To his name is Tony. Shout out to you, Tony. What's up, Tony? <laughs> what up, Tony? Yes. So he motivated me to like, hey, how about do like for a week, do 40 drafts. And then mm -hmm. I did it. And then after a week, I enjoyed or I liked how I was able to just up keep on uploading without doing it every day, like TikTok every day. Because of course I have a life, you know, like yeah, yeah. I do work, I do nursing school and stuff like that, study. So I just, it just felt right. Like he was right. I think I need to like do batch content. That's yeah. that's what they call it. Like, yeah. yeah. So I did 40 drafts. I keep on uploading. And then somehow it, 40 drafts, it went to like 60 to 100. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I don't know how it reached 200, honestly. Maybe because I don't delete it. Because that's another thing that I learned. Yeah. Do not delete it. Mm -hmm. Like, unless you think about it like a thousand times. Because yeah. you're going to think about it like maybe a day after and you said, oh, that was a great one. I should have, you know. Yeah. Mm. It. But, um. So you're, you're posting. What? When do you do your postings? Okay. So 
I do posting TikTok three times a day. Okay. I'm trying to be consistent for it, like mm -hmm. 11 a.m., 3, and then 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. Okay. Just because I'm following content creators that are like, that's a good thing too, like another tip, tip, hint, hint. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like you follow content creators. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. they just give like suggestions or of what they do. And then I came to, my, to a conclusion that, oh, okay, I'm going to do this. So upload three times for a TikTok. And then Instagram maybe post two times or three times a week. Mm. I, can't, I cannot do everyday posting on Instagram because I feel like when people keep on seeing me, they won't like my picture anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's you and you and your your own people, not like TikTok. You can just upload many things and then right. you just right. swap into new people. So. Man, you took social media to a whole ball, uh, new, ball game for you. So I, say that TikTok or Instagram or soon to be YouTube, if they were to make a high amount of money, would you quit everything else and just stick to it? I would. I like doing it. Okay. There you go. That's yeah, what matters. matters. No, seriously, that's what matters. Yeah. Um, yeah. As long as you you have to like what you're doing. You don't do it for, for fame, yeah. of course, or for money or anything like that. Although, mm -hmm. you know, eventually you will you will get there, but you won't notice any of that if you're enjoying what you're doing, you know? Yes. One thing is for sure, of course, I would finish my college. Mm -hmm. So disclaimer, not to like, you know, <laughs> say college is important. Co college is for everyone. College <laughs> is not for everyone. Maybe it's because ju it's just me that I wanted to like, you know, I just want to finish college. That's why, and then I'm just yeah. doing nursing. Okay. Yeah. I feel like it's a win-win. You know, I'm a, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like a future nurse. It's, I'm gonna benefit from it. Like yeah. I'm gonna be a mother or you know a sister or an auntie to anyone. <laughs> yeah. So basically, they need the nurse. So I'm okay. I'm here. I'm available. <laughs> I'm gonna be the first nurse in the family. So that's, okay. um, that's, good that's way looking at it. <laughs> and I gotta live my stereotype. Okay, I gotta be a nurse. <laughs> <laughs> the Filipino well, stereotype. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, but yeah. So I'm just kidding. Like... I'm totally kidding. I'm not even a nurse. Like my mom asked me this. So during that trend of nursing, right? Um, I think it was 2010, like around that time. Yes. My mom asked me, "It's like, hey, have you ever thought? Have you ever thought being a nurse?" And I said, "Mom, you know me. I'm not that smart. It's not gonna work out for me. There's no way I'll be a nurse. It's so hard. Like all that memorization that you guys had to do, I can't do any of that. <laughs> you know. Fun fact, though. Yeah." I, I didn't want a nurse before. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be a nurse like one month before enrollment in college. Yeah. In the Philippines. Mm -hmm. it's, it was just like table just turned. Because okay. in high school, I was pursuing business courses like ABM, accountancy yeah. and business management. <laughs> Good thing I took it. Right. right. I knew right away that I hate it. Like mm -hmm. the accounting. <laughs> I hate it. I'm like, okay. Well, you I hated numbers. I so I, I, I'm not surprised that you hate accounting. So. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I I cannot really. It's all gibberish for me. Yeah. Like the deliver. I mean, like how you write it on your like notebook. This amount of numbers. Like who in the heck will purchase a millions or thousands? I don't know. And, what and it's is. not. It's not. Um. I I took. We had a. We have a class in college. Accountant, accounting, and I realized that accounting is is majority of it is logic, and less numbers. So he's just tr trying to figure out where's that number come from and where's yeah. it going to go and things like that. I didn't think about that. Maybe that's the reason why I hate it. <laughs> yeah, the majority. I didn't look forward to it. <laughs> like, oh, I'm pushing. I hate it. Like, uh, <laughs> I think pass it. Right? <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know if you remember. So let's, since this is a Learn Filipino pod, high school students, right? We both went uh, in the Philippines for high school. What mm -hmm. are some typical college degrees that they offer you or they tell you have to take, right? HRM, <laughs> HRS, mm -hmm. MASCOM, <laughs> what else? Um, civil engineer. <laughs> business, business course. Business uh, course, yeah. right? Um, of course, nursing. Uh, and um, I kind of architect, not really, um, but a lot of engineers, you know, like teachers, civil. Teachers, education. Oh, teachers, that's right. Like civil engineers, mechanical engineers. Um, oh, science, like comsci. Famous. <laughs> uh, famous. Yeah, comsci. <laughs> computer science, computer technicians, and all mm. that. Like, those are like the IT. typical. <laughs> IT, that's right. <laughs> Where are you going to go? I'll go to SDI. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'll go to SDI after high school. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's and, and le there's not a lot of doctors, of course. Um, 
um, at least the, that I've heard, you know, doctors or lawyers, but it's usually those like HRM, HRS, um, I'll be a bartender, mm. I'll be a waiter, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Um, all right. Before we continue further, I have a I have a segment for you. OK, um, since you're a, a fresh Filipino from the Philippines, I got a segment. Um, I've done this with a, a lot of our guests. It's a this or that. All you have to do is I'll give you two or three options and you have to choose one of them. You can't do both, okay? No. It, okay. It's either just oh this gosh, okay. or okay. that. All right, I'm you ready? I'm water for it. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I gotta be ready for this. Um, okay, bring it on. <laughs> all right. Pasco or fiesta? Pasco. Pasco. Oh, right. wow, and you great. can and you can you can tell me why, okay? You can like I, I'll I'll explain why. All right, you can you can do that. All right, adobo or lechon? Adobo. Really? Yes, oh. I like chicken adobo, really? damn pork. But it depends on the cook. I mean, how they cook it. I like how it's saucy mm -hmm. and less, you know, less oil. Because I believe Filipinos like to make a variety of one dish. Yeah, yeah. A lot mm. of Filipinos like it more with more mantika or oil in it. Yeah, me too. I, I don't like it. Cause Cause I put like, it. I, you put it on the rice. No, it's. I don't. I feel like it's just slimy. Like, <laughs> like it slides through like your. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Are you really Filipino? My my favorite one is the uh, my dad uh, cooks it. It's with salt, like brown sugar. I like it with yes. I like it I like saucy, like more sauce, mm -hmm. more toyo in it, and then right. more sweet. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And then sometimes I do like the toyo, yung parang ano na sip sip ng yeah yeah ng pork yeah. yung ano yung sauce. And then I like it when it's like it it is cooked today. And then kakainin ko siya three days after. Oh. oh like pangat. you reheat it after? Yeah, the leftover. Oh, oh, yes. Yeah, you know why you call it pangat? Pangat lang init. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love that. All right. Vans or Converse? Oh, my gosh. Oh, Converse. But I have Vans. I don't have Converse. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> Quite the country. It's funny because I ask that because every Filipinos around our age love either Vans or Converse or both, you know? Um, I like them both, but like, I don't know. I have my Vans now, but I don't have Converse. But yeah. I like Converse. I'm a Converse guy. I'm, I'm aiming Converse. for CDG, but they always have no stock, so. <laughs> I'm going to save my first Converse <laughs> to CDG. Oh, nice. Okay. okay. All right. Now, since you're a gamer, ML or PUBG? ML. ML? Okay. Yes. All right. <laughs> Abs or dad bod? Oh, petty both. <laughs> no, you can't. You have to choose one. Just one. Oh my gosh. Let's go for the abs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm abs. I'm mag, ano, mag, mag work out. You know, work right, out. Let's go. Let's I'm go. Go. Dad bod too. I like that bod too. Bro. You gotta Wait, choose baby. one. You gotta make up your mind. Just one. Okay, whatever. Dad bod. No, okay. How much I work out? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fine. It's a, right. it's a nice answer. Right <laughs> now, for someone, uh, um, uh, let's let's say a significant other, right? Uh, would you rather date a Leo or a Scorpio? Uh, okay. Oh my God, you're, I don't know, Leo. <laughs> really? Oh, I heard Leos are crazy. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Are you Leo? Yeah. Are you Leo? I, him? Are you Leo? Yeah. Oh, uh, when I looked it up. Uh, apparently i am really i'm taurus can you can you can you share like the personal all like the distinct personality of leo's for you for well, you to be honest I, it doesn't never... fit him it yeah. doesn't based on the people that i know because they said leo's are passive aggressive and they're um uh even though he can be straightforward but he's a, he's an he's he has a kind heart that's what Ooh. I heard about Leo. Yeah, yes. Isn't that the same thing as being passive aggressive? No, passive aggressives are not. They might. No, it's totally different. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, Samsung or iPhone? iPhone. Okay. All right. She's still Filipina. I'll, I'll give you like I'll give you five more years. You you're gonna change your mind. You're gonna change your mind. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna change your mind. You I will... cannot. Honestly, I've been. I don't know. Every time, like I borrow like someone's phone, Samsung, I cannot. I feel so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry. It's like, true because okay. iPhone is simple. They make the phone really simple. You know. That's like, why. That's why I like iPhone. He doesn't like simple. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> and and then I I, I I we mentioned this earlier. You gotta choose one: Jollibee, Chowking, or Goldilocks. Ooh. Just one. Jollibee. 
Oh, that was very fast. quick. All right, okay, right. I'll, yeah. I'll take that one. Word. Word. Okay, yeah. I, I I'll take choking though. I'll, I love choking. Okay. Now, uh, tumbang preso or luksong baka? Oh my gosh, uh, tumbang preso. <laughs> yeah, tumbang preso. <laughs> Like I, feel like, I feel like I can't jump that high, so I'll play the running it's kinda, game. It's kind of like reminisce because I didn't like a memory of me playing the Luxong Baka. Uh huh. It didn't end well for me. <laughs> <laughs> it gave me a mark on my knee. I, I feel like every Filipino kid have a, like a big mark on their knee. Yes, <laughs> like, I know. Maybe faded, but still, like you know, we have like a signature, you know, distinguished. Right. Artwork right here. Right. And and she um and Tumong Press was really fun, you know? Like it's exhausting and after you play it you're like so hyped and tired and when you get home you just eat and sleep, you know? You're like amoy araw. Right, right. Hmm. Or hmm. powis, you know? And but in Luxong Bar it's just eh, you just jump. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes you get kicked in the head while, <laughs> while someone is trying to yeah, hop on you. Heat up now. <laughs> right. Right. Um you just wait. <laughs> last question. <clears throat> Lenny or Marcos? I'm just kidding. Don't answer that. <laughs> Do, not, oh. Do not answer that. Do not Bye. Answer that. Thank you for watching. <laughs> right, right. Thank you. Bye. No, don't answer that. Um, skinny jeans or skirt? Skinny jeans. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> that was. I think we talked about but this. Be- yeah. But before though, but yeah, before I was like so insecure. I used to like I like wearing skirts mm-hmm. because I feel like skinny jeans are like two fitted and then parang like mabukang, they call it kawayan yung parang oh, legs mo. Oh, gotcha. And then what I yeah, I just wear jeans parang mm. ano fini ko mas natatakpan so it's not it doesn't look small pero parang mali yung intindi ko before. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I was I oh, I've always been a skinny kid. Like they call mm-hmm. me skinny skinny and payat mo ganyan mm-hmm. but growing up i feel like okay okay la you know yeah, yeah. i'm like i kind of like this distinguish myself as like a skinny legend or whatever right right because yeah i've always i mean i've been bullied being like a skinny person Too skinny. So. Mm. they're probably just jealous i bet you that's uh-huh. why I, I eat a lot, so I don't know what That's happened. Why, Maybe right? it's because yeah. my mom didn't breastfed me for a whole year. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's because they say like when you're breastfed, it's like better or like you know more no. healthier. No, it's... they just that's a conspiracy theory yeah me, so. right right i'm just trying to perceive it that way as of the moment <laughs> i think that's just preference yeah I've, those are... I've always been i've oh, sorry so i've always been like an underweight but really? when I went to the doctor, like asked them what is what's going on, you know, what's up? Yeah. <laughs> and then they're yeah. like, Well, you're good. Like, yeah, you're healthy. You're fine. Yeah. yeah. You're fine. Yeah. Hey, hey, listen, say. when you hit a certain age and you uh can eat whatever you want, but you're still the same size, that's a blessing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So just, okay, okay, now I'm proud of Right, right. Exactly. <laughs> so, uh, right. Disclaimer, <laughs> Yeah, uh, those are two things that I learned when I got here in America, right? First is the is the weight thing. I thought so when I was a when I was in the Philippines too. I was super skinny. Like I I can eat whatever, um, but I'm still skinny, you know. And I think because of my metabolism is so high and so fast that it mm-hmm. just it just yeah. burns it right away. Yeah. Yep. Um, but when I got here, people were like, "Oh man, you you're skinny. You're this mm-hmm. and that," and they're 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 amazed. You know, they they like it. And then the second one is my skin. Remember when we were in the Philippines, we have uh, whitening soap, whitening lotion, whitening yeah. cream, whitening Kojic everything. soap. Hey, right. Oh, on. dude, I, I use Kojic. Orange soap. Right? <laughs> I, use, I use the Kojic. You know, the while you're taking a shower, you're like... Right? Right? I know. Um, and, and then when I got here, people were like, I love your skin. I'm like, this? I don't even yeah. like this. I want to be white. I want to be like you. <laughs> yes, exactly. You mean you want to go like perception? I want to be white. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then when we got here, they all love our skin. I'm like, yes. okay. All them white ones that want to get dark. Yeah, they have tanning. Admittedly, yes, I do. In the Philippines, like lotion, you mga skin white, the right? Brand. <laughs> right, right. We don't want to go outside because the sun will like yeah. turn us to <laughs> <laughs> real quick. Right, just that, like that. Five seconds. Ooh. You know, sometimes you're not even. Even under the sun, you just by the window and you can feel the Anong heat. Pa yung, yung payong, like the umbrella. There's right. no, like, there's no one here. Like, mayon, wala ko magamit ng umbrella sa yeah, imed. Oh my gosh, yeah, I know. I was just thinking about that because we only use umbrellas when it's raining. 
but yeah, not on true. a sunny day. And yeah, they don't do it on a sunny day. Yeah. But only, I mean, in typical Americans, they don't do it, but there's only a certain group that does it, and everyone has that already. Yeah, basically, um, well, Asians, but specifically Chinese or mm. anyone. Or non Americans. Yeah, non Basically, just non Americans. I remember. I'm oh, rem- sorry. <laughs> no, I remember when I was a teenager. I used to. I'm one of those guys who bring uh, toalla while you're walking around. <laughs> I'll bring a towel. Oh, I'll just walk around yeah, with a, <laughs> with a towel. Yeah, mm. I'm, I'm one of them. Uh, I I started this trend on Facebook uh, on my Facebook stories, <laughs> on because uh, uh, I I haven't been I I haven't visited Philippines since I went here to 2012. So for 10 years I haven't been back. Um, oh. And I I know so I've been listening to Thank OPM you. music. And on our way to work I listen to just Filipino music, and I start making fun of Filipinos in my stories. Like <laughs> I play the song. For example, one example is. Um, I said shout out sa mga shout out sa mga theme song nila noon is forevermore we're playing forevermore right from um, side A um, and then I'll sing it and I say shout out sa mga uh, sa mga theme song nila noon forevermore tapos kinabukasan nag break yeah forevermore pa kayo ah grabe <laughs> siya <laughs> and then all of my friends are like commenting like oh Oh no, that wasn't me. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> right, right. Like I, I do those kind of stuff, and and I realized that. Um, what was I talking about? Um, I OPM. Think, no, I don't even know what I'm connecting it to. But yeah, so you haven't been back to the Philippines for three years that you're here in America. When are you planning to go back? I don't know. Good question. I am really looking forward because now I am like allowed to because before I, it's the papers that's yeah the, that's the reason yeah and then now i'm allowed to but of of course i'm also in nursing school so basically ang break ko lang is winter break i have um, spring break but so that that's like one week right i don't yeah. want to go to philippines one week so basically winter break just one month along so hopefully i don't know next year yeah oh. hold on give me a second yeah, when do you plan on going back yeah when are you planning on going back hopefully any like from this year forward, like I have the opportunity to really mm. maybe next year or mm. this year. I'm not sure of this year I can, but like, yeah, my target really is like next year, hopefully. Okay. Fingers crossed. Okay. So really n- the movies. now that you uh, like the door, you know, the doors are open in PH, uh, is quarantine not needed there anymore? It is still. So <clears throat> if you're not vaccinated, you have to quarantine. If you're vaccinated, you don't have to. How long is quarantine? I have no idea. 14 days? A week? Before Still? It was two weeks. But before, I'm not sure right now. Yeah, yeah before, before it was, it was two, weeks. two weeks. Yeah. No, I think it's a week. I have no idea. I, I guess I'll find out if, you know, or when we plan to go back. Are you guys planning to go back? Yeah. Like, hopefully yeah. next year. We were planning to go, actually, we were planning to go 2020, but because COVID happened, like, yeah, we're not, I don't want to get stuck yeah. there, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, and also, uh, and also when you go to the Philippines, and you know this, you can't go to the Philippines for just a week. It's not gonna work, you know. Yeah, that's why she said no, she didn't just, want to do a spring that's break. That's just jet lag. <laughs> <laughs> just trying to get over it. That is nightmare, I think. Yeah, you have to be there at least a month. If you want to go to the Philippines and visit, you have to be really, there at least like, a month. Really, like feel it, you know. Yeah, 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 and visit no, with agree. your friends, ha- have a reunion, hang out with you know, and go other places. Magala ka ba dati noon sa sa Pilipinas? Magala, I can places? say sakto lang, you know, yeah. parang because. My mom and my, yeah, my mom, he's like scared, like me going out alone, of mm-hmm. course. But when like my friends tried to like, you know, like, I say, yeah, sure, why not? But yeah, the mas sobrang layo, like, Puputan Laguna, Batangas. Right, right oh, Baguio. Mm. Yes, like, I haven't been in Baguio. <laughs> yeah, me neither. So, Wait, you, you haven't? My, my friends mm-hmm. laugh at me, like, hi, you haven't been in Baguio? I'm like, yeah, yeah is it weird? And then, yeah, they no, said I don't it, think it's, it's weird. weird for me. Yeah. I mean, no, then typical, you know, typical Filipinos, we don't go to, like, he's been, he was in the Philippines for four years, but he's been to a lot of places. Yeah. Uh, you yeah. can say I literally went up from north to south. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. He's been to Davao. We've been to nice Isabela. Life. Yeah. Abra. Uh, Abra. There are a lot of um, locations or places in the Philippines that I haven't even, like, visited. Like, I wanted to, like... Oh, na kapo tang barakay so far. <laughs> like family, that's family thing, but still. Yeah. Yung lang yung kapo tang kung 
Like, yung malayo talaga. Na, mm-hmm. you know. Gusto ko pumunta ng Palawan, but I never been. I know, me too. I want to go to Puerto, Prince, Puerto Princesa. Princesa. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I think I want to go to Palawan too. Yeah, I want to. I will definitely I try. I will definitely eat the worm. I will eat it. I would never. Worm. Yeah, I would. But the there's a worm? Yeah. It's the what worm. kind of worm? It lives in a, um, you know those mangrove trees? Yes. Yeah, they live in those. And they mm. eat them alive. Uh, well, I can nope. tell you that it just. So basically, you're kind of like also eating the things in the mind group when you're eating. Yeah, those, right? basically, I, I think they're fresher and they're cleaner than the dirt worms. Yeah, he ate dirt worm. No. I ate a it's dirt cool. worm. It was a challenge. You did? Yeah, yeah, because Is there a story behind it. Why? Well, it was because uh, we had some uh, Cambodian uh, students in our in our school, and uh, apparently, they literally eat anything, like oh, yeah. anything in, uh, in Cambodia. Um, and uh, one day they saw him talk about, or they they, they talked to him about eating uh, earthworm, and he said he yeah. ate it before, and they all challenged him to do it. He did it, and I'm like, challenge accepted. I would do it okay. too. Challenge accepted. Yeah. But he cleaned it before I even ate it, so I ate it, and it. Just, when he said clean it, he just cleaned it with his hands. Clean it, not wash. Clean it. Just yeah. It, the, basically, he just got rid of the so-called dirt that the. You great. It was a challenge, and I kid you not, it just tastes like dirt. <laughs> I'm even scared to touch it, really, yeah. honestly. Alex, please. Alex, please tell me you eat balut. Yes, I do, but not the CCU. Really? So I Come just on. You just eat egg, then? Just a normal egg? Yeah, yeah. basically, it's balut, right? Like, <laughs> oh, the egg is balut. <laughs> that doesn't but... count. It's like I saying... <laughs> it still counted. <laughs> it I ate one, just it what she ate. It doesn't count. No, she said she doesn't eat the chick. Yeah, that's my, uh, when you guys challenged me to eat balut. I ate the the embryo. It one. doesn't count. It doesn't. It's, count. It counts for it's something. Like, it's like eating no, a hard boiled egg. It's, it's like eating egg. a hard boiled egg. It, it, it no, counts. it's not. Yes, no. it is. No. It's, it's basically okay. it. The whole idea of eating balut is eating the the crunchy Alex, chick Alex, it's with cool. eyeballs it's cool. and beans you and, and, it with, and, no. and some feathers. Don't listen to him. You and me the same. We good. We good. Of course, you guys are the same because you did the same thing. Yeah, we're the same. No, that doesn't count. I minded. You can you can ask. Everybody, you yeah, exactly. Right you can it's ask okay. everybody. It's like saying, it's like saying, "Oh, I love pizza." Well, yeah, it's I, y'all's fault. I only eat the crust. It doesn't count. The pizza. Look, if it's y'all wanted me to challenge to try it, y'all should have gave me the duck. But y'all <laughs> decided to give me the embryo one. Huh? See, it's a- what do you say? So the the, uh, the one that formed like an egg, the, like a big hard boiled egg. Y'all uh-huh. is the one that gave it to me. It was a uh, uh, Bunso uh, and Kellen. Yeah. He's the one that ch- uh, made me and said, uh, eat it. And that's what we had. That was the first one I ate. The yellow one. Wait, wait. What are you talking about? But look. Yeah, the embryo is the duck. No, what I'm saying, y'all should have gave me the chick, the actual chick. The the mostly full with the bone, beak, and all. She, he didn't give that to you? No. That's not my fault then. It's y'all fault. That's it's, y'all. Balut, right? it's, it's not my fault. It's the balloon. It's about. Yeah. No, it's it doesn't about. count. It you, doesn't like count. It's the balloon. Whatever. You, whatever you, you, you guys like say. You still do the like same the thing. Soup in it? Yeah, the soup in it? It was good, yeah. When yeah, you crack yeah. it open and drink it when up. You, when you open the balloon, you need to like, drink it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then you add a little salt. <laughs> I cannot believe yeah, we're having this salt. conversation. Like, no, that, is, that is not balloon. Nope. I, cannot, I cannot eat the drink. I feel like I'm... I don't know. I'm, I'm willing to try it, though. Horrible. <laughs> I feel horrible when I eat it. <laughs> Are you picky? Are you allergic to any any food or... Um, no, as of the moment. Okay. I just as don't the moment, eat... She says. That is what, anything scary. Yeah. Nothing scary. And the thing scares me. Okay. Well, you don't have to. I think the only exotic food that they can cons- not only, but one of the exotic food that they consider around here is um, isao. That's that's about it. Like. Oh I, wait. Like, oh yeah. Interesting. Speaking of isao, mm-hmm. I tried eating isao, but I didn't like it. Yeah, that that one's fine. As long as you tried it. As long as you take a bite, chewed and swallowed I did it. Try. What's isao? Um, isao is uh, chicken intestines. Oh, the ones that you, the in, you find in the street? Yeah, the innards. Yeah. Oh, that, I think that was pretty but good. But the thing that I never eat, I think, is the, the go. The go but bedamax. you eat the go on? Yes. That doesn't make sense. I don't know why. <laughs> it doesn't make sense, right? Wait, but I don't know. I feel like same? it's it's a cubes. Yeah. It's in cubes, though. Yeah. So it's basically oh. you're eating it. So it's hard. Because one thing is that I don't like eating liver. And I feel like liver and blood, they look alike. And I feel like the substance, like when you eat it, like the texture. <laughs> Yo, girl, you got to try like the chicken um, innards, like adobong chicken oh, innards. Man. It's so good. 
Now I'm telling you, it changes the taste and the texture of um, Wait, the adobo. Ano ba inert? Is it like the balun balunan? Yeah, ano yeah. All of all of the insides, like intestines, balun balunan. Um, uh, what else? Uh, I like balun balunan when it's like in a stick, like. Different. Yeah, those are good. Oh, that, that, that one make me, uh, make me miss it. Quite quick. Right? I think I ate pig's brain. Pig's brain is good. Yeah, you did. You did. Yeah, I ate it brain. with a uh, kuya king. Yeah, with with me actually. We did? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. We both ate Do you guys have like the Tata's Grill near you? No. What? Tata's Grill. That sounds like a strip club. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is. It's a grill. Oh, it is, they sell street food. Oh my God. <laughs> Wait, in where you at, they sell street food? Yes, they sell. They have quite quick. They have everything. Wait, in, in, in Nevada? In Nevada? For yes. real? Yes. Like really? Toto's, you're like Toto is a name, right? Toto. Yeah, you know, Toto. Like, like little boy, like, like little, little, yeah. like Toto, yeah. Oh, and then that's grill. interesting. You grill, you grill it on your own. So they, yeah, they have, I think they have Adidas too. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Maybe it's like not consistent. They have everything you on eat, it. But you like, you eat chicken feet? I, I did try, but mm-hmm. like I cannot finish them all like other people. Now they can like really... Finish yeah. like almost you can see the bones like you know you not there because yeah. after eating it, it's just like the balat lang it's so brang right no I I get it I tried that's the one of the street food that I cannot eat only because not because of the taste but because there's no meat in it like yeah, there's no I point agree. in eating it what's the point of eating it it's like mm-hmm. bone yeah I was challenged to eat it and I ate it I mean I, it tasted just like chicken but it was just yeah. bones maybe it's because they just cook it like adobo is do they call, cook it like adobo like, yeah uh, they can or they can you know fry it and um boil it or that I don't know it's weird because I tried to like bite it like the first time I hmm. tried it it's mm-hmm. really weird because like where's the meat <laughs> <laughs> there's <laughs> nothing I, <laughs> yeah so one thing for me I'm not picky with food <clears throat> but I am um I am lazy eat. I'm a, just, I'm, a, I'm, a your, I'm a lazy eater. So, you just have your preferences. Yeah, I'm a lazy eater. So if I have to work for my food, oh. I'm not gonna eat it. So for example, the um, chicken feet, I don't eat shrimp if it oh, has shell, a... like the shell shrimp. I don't eat it because it oh. it takes a lot of work peeling it. Like I'm I'm not gonna do that. <clears throat> um, and um, galunggong, Crab. I don't eat galunggong because. I have to like peel it, remove the the tinik. I can't, I can't do it. It's too much work. I just want to eat food. Crab. How about the crab? You Cra- have to work for it. <clears throat> yeah, but crab They're tastes amazing bad. though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <you see? laughs> crab tastes amazing. <laughs> crab is great. Right. I will work for those uh, crab fat for sure. <laughs> Let me mix what it other with my foods rice. that you have to work for it? Um, I don't know. Like the crab legs. It, it's worth it. Like the crab legs is worth it. You yes, know, like the course. big crab, like you have to Pero crack it. Naman, crab. You crab legs in Philippines. Oh, it's nothing. <laughs> you just crack it and suck it. <laughs> and then that's it. It's like yung crab leg, yung hita parang pinky lang. Right, right. Legs. And there's no meat. Like what, there's nothing in it. Right, exactly. Exactly. But yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what other food that you ha- Tina, have to work before with. Before I hated, I, I don't like tinapa because it has tinik on it but like yeah. here mostly dito yung mga tinapa parang ano boneless like that oh, si parang man. tinik ko sa Pilipinas ano mas common yung you eat the t- tinapa with the tinik I think yeah, yeah. before that's how the we bones. like eat it mm. and then um, like lately we keep on buying the boneless one so it's like easy so I like tinapa now so mm, that makes sense no I, I if there's really something that I have to work for I won't eat it. I just want to like just eat it, you know, like eat it and then be done with it, like that. Even mm. if it's like a sugpo, you know, sugpo, sugpo, like a big shrimp. Oh, the big no. I, I'll do okay. So as long as it's worth it, like the crab legs, you have to work for the crab legs, right? You have to crack it and things like that. If it's something that's worth it, then I'll do it. You know, like um, lobster, of course, mm. sugpo, and mm. things like that. Um, I'll I'll do any of those because I know the meat is worth it. But if it's a small shrimp and you're telling me you have to crack the head, peel it, and make sure I get all the meat that I can get, no, I'm in not the doing that. Right. Everything is small. <laughs> right, right. I, I mean, even even to the point of I don't eat peanuts with shell in it because it's like this is too much work. I don't even do. Story? Huh? Is it, is it different? No, or no, 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 no. The real peanuts, like the peanut peanut itself, that has still has oh, a shell. The shell. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. I don't even do like butong pakwan, you know? Like I don't do it. It's like 
I, I see my seat first. Yeah, I, I always thought, right, exactly. I always thought that was a lady thing, cause but I think it's just my mom. She loves cracking it to eat it. She likes working for it. Yeah, I don't. My mom likes it too. They like working on. Your like food? let's say tilapia as in ubus talaga yung naman oh, yeah. right. well, you, 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 <laughs> got really can, like... you got to you got to I mean unless They're you're like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I told this joke um, what some of the common things that our Filipino moms say to us right um Things like, oh, you gotta eat your food because um, there's a lot of people are, you know, hungry and things like that. Right? Hungry, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what? I t- you know what I told my mom when she told me that. She said, she said, AJ, go finish your food. There's a lot of people getting hungry. I said, so you're telling me if I eat this, they're all gonna be full? <laughs> he said, well, no. Well, now I'm not eating it then. <laughs> he got a smart mouth. No, I kid you not. But I feel he like got a smart mouth. Yeah, it's a Filipino trait. Yeah. Like to eat every single thing on your plate. <laughs> yeah, right, right. And I, don't, like, I learned that that that's definitely a Filipino culture. Like if you go to a party, like wedding or birthday party, whatever you put in your plate, you have to eat it. Finish it. Finish it. Yeah, I'm like here in like Amer- in the America, they're like, it's okay, just dump it off the you know yeah. the garbage, yeah. the trash. But I feel like in the Philippines, when you do it, like that kind of like, I don't know, they call it behavior. Yeah, or yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. They're like you mga tita tito, ano may anak ni ano Right, right, right. right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I know, and and I I have to. It's like we have this thing called takaw mata, right? <clears throat> takaw mata. Yeah. Takaw mata is people who like they think it looks good. They just look good, so they put it. They dump their plate with that like much food, but it. yeah, but uh, they won't even eat it or touch it or they won't finish it. The, um, there's a saying we say it's like your eyes is bigger than your mouth. It's basically that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Or your yeah, stomach. Eyes bigger than your stomach. That's like the. Yung mga ano yung take out <laughs> right. may mga birthday parties <laughs> mga take out like, <laughs> right, right. Uh, yes yes so I guess my, I, w- I was gonna ask you if there's any food from the Philippines that you miss but you can find those food there huh yes I do Luck- I'm lucky I guess I'm, lo- I'm just lucky but still I'm craving for yeah. like yung mga palabok like yung talagang the real authentic food Filipino, yeah you know authentic filipino mm-hmm. labo and yeah yeah and quite correct like the street food like what you see in their like oh, on mm-hmm. the streets i feel like it's more you know your vibe and your right. ambience i feel right. like it's different. <laughs> you know it's true. you know one thing that i uh we talked about this before i think one thing that i don't know if it's gonna work well in the philippines b- because of this quarantine and covid and things like that how is fishbowl gonna work for filipino vendors Cause remember we do like, we we um we tusok tusok some fish bowl, right? Yeah. And then you sow sow it, you you dip it, and then you just eat one, or just take a bite, and then you dip it again, and you have like three or four people doing the same thing in one jar, like they're double triple dipping. You palam kasi na pa yung right for you how many people like many right people like how's that gonna work during COVID? You know like. <laughs> It's like, like there's no double dipping like the cups maybe they just oh they do the cups or maybe ano lang may rule yung ano yung nagkitin daw isang ano lang isang sawsaw lang and then you're done yeah yeah no double dipping yeah yeah my usual behavior or like you know what I do is like I dip it on a suka and then mm-hmm. I dip it on a sweet sauce yes oh my gosh yes it's, it's so good. the best yeah and sometimes you forget so you you dip it to the um, barbecue sauce and then you dip it to suha so now the suha looks like a barbecue sauce <laughs> <laughs> but it's so good though right and then the manong like, and then the manong nagtitinda will yell at you hey stop doing that oops you know yeah yeah um, taho. that's another thing I missed oh, although taho. Mary's the choking they have taho like here mm-hmm. but like it's different. Yeah. Ko pa rin yung ko, ano. yeah. Kasi hmm. it's a memory yung gawain ko before mm-hmm May mga cups name vendor, right? But what I do is I bring my own cup. <laughs> and then you have the big one. <laughs> just like, it's just like home. Yeah. Kuya pengi pa pong Arnibal. The great question. Ka, yeah, I do bring one cup. Yeah. Ano naman yun? Dinadagdagan ko naman yung bayad ko, mga 20 pesos. But still, mm. when you compare the ratio, like, <laughs> like the size. Parang hindi siya, ano, makatarungan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, love it. Since we're on food, food portion, 
how did you feel about the food portion here in the U.S. and back in PH? Mm. It is so big. <laughs> it's so large. <laughs> I don't know. They couldn't alam kung it's a Filipino culture or behavior. Because nga parang ano tayo sa food like masino. It's masino like you want to finish like what you can eat. Yeah, you need to finish yeah. what you order. Yeah. I think it's forty pid, and then dito they're like, okay, whatever, just yeah. eat it. You ordered, you paid for it, you know. <laughs> but na natawa kasi like in servings, it's really small servings in a Filipino. I'm right. not sure why. Yeah, that right. was my struggle when I yeah. went to PH. I mean, this is a story I always tell everybody. So one time I always go to, uh, I was hungry. One night I was really hungry, and uh, so me and my homie went to Jollibee. And here he is by uh, getting his spicy chicken and his rice. And this is me ordering, I think, if I remember right, I ordered 11 yums. And, 11 yums? yep, 11 yums. And I think a couple of large fries. And just one drink for me. And yeah, I downed it. Five minutes done. I was hungry. Really hungry. Yeah. Speaking of which, how was your <laughs> first McDonald's burger? Um, it took time. <laughs> it took time. <laughs> like, like, it took time. Like, it took time. I need to like you know, I can. It's really I don't know. I don't even like usually eat burgers like McDonald's burgers because uh-huh. I usually eat like mini burgers. Yeah, like, mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. mini burgers that have like a ketchup oh, and a those. mayonnaise in it, which a mix. Yeah, also that one like the sauce, right? The yeah. mayonnaise and the uh-huh. ketchup mix. Yeah, yeah. They don't have so, that here. They do uh-huh. ketchup and mustard. It's yeah. horrible. I don't. I hate mustard. I hate, I mustard. hate mustard. Every Filipino hate mustard. Mustard. Mm-mm. It's weird. It's it, it tastes and looks weird. <laughs> now, <laughs> now honey mustard on the other hand tastes it's different. Amazing. Have you tried honey mustard? Honey mustard. Is good. I did on the nugget, but like I'm not a fan of it. Really? But like I don't like hate hate it, hate it. No. Okay. Still. McDonald mu- honey mustard. I don't know if they have one. Eh, it's questionable. Nugget, yeah. yeah. You got to go yeah. to a, like an actual uh, restaurant and ask them for a honey mustard. Then that's where you get a good how, one. How about ranch? Do you like ranch? I'm good with ranch. Yeah, with a yeah. salad. Yeah. yeah. Okay we don't have it. ranch in the Philippines, right? <laughs> Wait. You just said ranch for salad. You don't oh, use it for wait. anything else, like a dip. I do. Oh man, and I really feel like the dip in the Philippines, yung yeah. sa yung ranch natin, ketchup and mayonnaise. Yeah, that's it. Ketchup and mayonnaise. And we call it oh, Thousand man. We call I it Thousand, thousand Island. Island. <laughs> <laughs> also an airport no mix. Yeah, we mix it and sometimes we put, you know, onions maybe, but that's it, you know. Yeah. That's pretty good. <laughs> Over, I don't know what overrated thousand island. <laughs> right. Well, nag flashback sa like itura ng salad when you have like salad and then you yeah. so sour. Yeah. Oh no, it's not white. It's not like the yung ano yung kulina ranch dito. Yeah. But yeah. also, I I also eat like the ranch with the chicken. Yeah. Or, yeah you have to eat ranch. ranch. So if you go to Michigan, <clears throat> Michiganders love ranch. Like we use ranch for everything: pizza, chicken nuggets, um, fried chicken. Yeah, you never tried it with pizza. Oh, you have to you try it. You missing out, girl. You have to try it. I mean, I need to be a Michiganer, and, and, but and, I don't. And, and and do not put the ranch on top of the pizza. What you do is you dip the pizza in the ranch and nah. take a bite. Really? I it's, haven't tried it. It's so good. I'm gonna so try good. it it's next good. time. It's take your favorite I'm pizza. Try the pizza. <laughs> oh, Costco pizza, perfect. Costco pizza is good. Yeah. Yeah. And their hot, and their hot dogs. I like their hot dogs too. Mm. Oh. Mm. Do you like hot- it? Do you guys do they like it? Yeah. They're big, but I'm not a big fan of hot dogs anyways. Like I like longanisa over hot dogs. Anytime. Uh, yeah. Longanisa any day. Yeah, longanisa over hot dogs. Like even the Philippine um Philippines cheese hot dog, I'm not a big fan. Like I'll eat it of course with ketchup. I can eat it. Yeah, but mm. it's not like if you ask you me, you eat it all the time. Yeah, if I, you know, if you ask me, hey, you uh, want you want hot dog? I always like, do we have other things? You know, do we have I corn beef? Yeah, corn beef. Yeah, corn beef too. Yeah, that's what I miss. We miss corn, corn beef. beef. Corn beef and patatas. Yes, <sighs> or or repolio, right? Cabbage. Oh, so good. Mm. So good. My best. Uh, my best. Uh, my favorite way of cooking corn beef is with eggs. So you cook the corn beef and then you put um. Uh, oh right yeah you put eggs really it's really good never tried that it's really good um, well, basically it's like a scrambled egg it's scrambled it. egg yep oh yeah. I guess it's I, really good I may have uh, what we do typically in our culture because you know corned beef is a big thing for us as well it's uh, corned beef and spaghetti 
Mm, so what can you oh, say spaghetti. about the Filipino corned beef and American corned beef? I've That's never different. had I've never had American corned beef. Yeah, I've been here for ten years. I've never had it. I never I haven't eaten what's considered an American corned beef. Nope. nope. Most of them are imported anyway. So, yeah. but we always get New Zealand or uh, the New Zealand kind. Is it New Zealand Australia? Yeah, mostly those kind. The one that has the cow in it. <laughs> Yeah, my, my, my dad just went to the Philippines last year and he brought me small cans of Argentina corned beef. And even the yeah. sachet, right? Sachet, yeah. Yeah, sachet. yeah I, the sweep, I think that's the sweep brand. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're gonna you like put it under hot water and then... Because you don't microwave in the Right, right. No, no. We don't have microwave. So what we do is just water like hot water and then just put the thing the sachet and then yes. make it. <laughs> yes, and there you and go eat it in the sachet. Nice. yo i just realized that when i got my food um you know it's talking about portion of food uh when i was in the philippines just one sachet is enough for a amount of like tremendous amount nice. of rice right but now i open the sachet and I'm like that's it <laughs> <laughs> I want more. <laughs> right, right. Oh, it was like, I don't know, maybe we're just used to it. <laughs> like, yeah, like, I know. Like a lot of rice. Right. Like a bulky rice. <laughs> the struggle <laughs> that <laughs> when we go back and, you know, eat their portion, like the struggle of trying to, you know, eat more meat than rice. Ah. Like, uh, remember Angel's Burgers? <laughs> oh, I do. There's no meat. This is just all bread. <laughs> right. Like, it's like big and fluffy, but like, and when then you have this little skin. <laughs> in weight. I can, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it. So, when we go to the Philippines and I'll buy Angel's Burger, I'm gonna make it in a ball. And how, let's see how small I can get it into a ball. <laughs> That's I think cruelty be to like a, a burger, a man. Is it, is it so no, I think so. I think they still have Angel's Burger. Right, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> um, last month, we went on vacation, and I found out Walmart sells Yakult. So I bought a whole thing of Yakult. They yeah. They've been, right? Yeah, I didn't know that. I, I, I've been here for 10 years. I didn't know they had Yakult. So when I saw it, I'm like, I got to buy this. Oh, so I cool. grabbed I'm the whole surprised. thing. It was so good. I'm I don't surprised know. That you didn't notice. I don't know why they all they they still sell it in a small cup. There's got to be someone oh, who made I a petition. I have a conspiracy theory about that. Okay, <laughs> go ahead. Ooh. Yes, because they say that the yakko is very like it has a lot of things in it, like a very you know small things, like a, it's probiotics. You yeah, know? yeah. So yeah. once you open it, you gotta like finish it right away because it's gonna be like, I don't know, like panis, like spoiled, really? easily spoiled. Yeah. They say it's gotta be like easily spoiled, so that's why when you open it, you can just string it. Right oh, you away. have you have to take it, like you have to shot. It makes it. sense though. Um. Yeah, like jumping parang you know, it's the more little it is, the more fast you can finish it. Gotcha. Unlike when you know, so you many gotta, people it has many itatago lang ilalagay sa right. So it's an intentional right. shot of Yakult. Yes, yeah. pero <laughs> because of the size, I was like before. Parang ano, ano pa to may limit like when you're a day, <laughs> Two. ito lang for a day. Parang ganon yung maybe it's because you know my my mom used to give me like one yakult a day or maybe right. two. So right. I was like, am I gonna die if I'm gonna die? <laughs> yeah, can I get it in one jug and then just drink it? You know, <laughs> yeah. exactly. I'm I'm way probiotic right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right. Well, mm. Rico, what's next for you for TikTok? Yeah. What's um what's your plan besides your two hundred some uh, drafts in your? Do when are you gonna finish all that? Yeah, I cannot even. It keeps on like piling, piling, piling up. Piling up. <laughs> <laughs> piling up. I don't know. Maybe I'll. I mean, it's it's useful though because right now I haven't been making uh, like actively making TikTok mm -hmm. consistently like before like a batch content. Yeah. Uh -huh. like, I have my work now and then my nursing school but yeah it's been helpful for me to have like drafts what's next for me mm -hmm. that's a good that's a good question do you I don't, do you I'm, want I'm to make this work yes i am really making it work right now i i'm sure i'm for sure okay. like spending my time in tiktok my job mm. and then like All instagram right. okay gotcha. i'm really trying to like grow my social accounts because i feel like you know, I want to earn from it. Yeah. <laughs> like, that was the reward, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to deny because, you know, yeah. you can earn from it, really. Mm -hmm. if yeah. you take it and you can earn a lot of money. Like, a lot. Exactly. 
Mm-hmm. Especially like I like how you know kinikilig ako pagka no. I, so there's no um, English term for kilig, right? Like um, kilig. Um, not sure. No, there's there not. is. There is a word for it. It's uh, not giggles. No. Is that blush? I don't. I don't know. You're making me blush. It's a. It's a different. It's I like, don't think there's a oh, English. Oh, um, I think it's it's as close as um butterflies in your stomach. Like you got butterflies in your stomach. Okay. Yeah. It's like, got oh. it. So yeah. yeah. So whenever yeah. brands reach out to me, like to create content for them, like UGC, yeah. user mm-hmm. generated content. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which before I wasn't familiar of it, but right. right now I'm really very very familiar of it, and I'm yeah. sure do I'm gonna earn money from it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So yeah, I started. I started earning from the UGC, and then I'm I'm enjoying it. So just being creative. Yeah. Yeah. I just wanna next to me. I mean, what's next to me? I would probably just you know work, work th- these things out. Like what's on my plate right now. Right. Mm-hmm. I wanna be like learn more of it. Yeah. You know, because I, mean? okay. I feel like okay. there's always more to it. Like it's it never ends. <laughs> yeah. Hey, listen. As long as you're having fun doing it, it doesn't yeah. it doesn't matter. Yeah, Eventually, exactly. it's gonna be I like there. I, I yeah. like it. And it's also off. I mean, okay. So another topic to like. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do it. You guys. My my instances na sa akin, like people that are watching my TikTok lives, mm-hmm. they're here on this area. Oh. Like they see me, and then I see them, oh. which is weird. Right. And so, I think I need to like build up my you know confidence. confidence. Yeah. So they come and say, "Hey, I know you from TikTok." Does that happen? Um, I just haven't. No, not yet. But oh, okay. I know they're like shy because because when I do lives, I know I know the, I know the people like they they comment and then I like interact with them. I see their profiles, I follow them back, especially when they're Filipino. And then like mm. nakita ko yung profile niya, sabi ko kilala ko to eh. This is the mm. person I know like in TikTok. And yeah. then nakita ko siya. I know like I know that they see me, and yeah. then but they like shy yeah. to like approach me. So like and then meron pa time in TikTok lives, sabi nila, "Uy, nakita ka to sa Max." Oh. Like at this place, right. at this. Sabi ko, in naalala ko yung time na nasa Max ako, he, some someone like the like the server or yung waiter. Mm-hmm. Hey, he might he might just think you're cute. That's probably why. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah. So one there's one one person said, "Uy, nakita kita sa Max like you were there with your friends," mm-hmm. and which is right. And then for the general information, could be wrong, but still, mm-hmm. I kind of like feel anytime soon. Like while I am growing in TikTok, it is possible like you meet people from tiktok like personally yeah and i feel like i'm not ready for that yet but i will be <laughs> right if it's right if on my face you know what i'm saying but still yeah. i'm kind of awkward i need to build up my you know social mm. skills personally you got, this. You, got <laughs> you, got, you got the social media skills you just need the real life social skills yeah, <laughs> yeah that's a different that's like a different oh, completely thing right? different yeah you're indoors mm-hmm. and now you're doing outdoors you yeah. know <laughs> even doing tiktok publicly i'm still a little awkwardly shy even right. though i know here people here like they don't care yeah but still, i feel like you know i'm awkwardly shy <laughs> i need to i need a course you know you guys you guys have any tips for that no you don't need a course what you need is just surround yourself with people that does not care yeah the people that don't care and eventually you're just gonna consume that confidence from them because you need a like a like a support group you know like a group that will be like yeah just do it you got this you know yeah. people that will challenge you constantly and yeah you don't need a course you, you can't have a course like you can yeah. learn all of these things but if you don't apply it because you don't have the confidence it's not gonna matter <laughs> right 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 <laughs> you know <laughs> any any creepers or stalkers yet among your fan club Yes, of course. Like the, I feel like they're bots, but like <laughs> <laughs> most likely. Like the, yeah. Also, like people call me in comments. I just filter it out. I mean, I just have my keywords. I think there's like an Instagram. Yeah, you mm-hmm. can filter it, like the mean or harassment. Yeah, words yeah, or yeah, yeah. So I, I saw this one, um, one. I don't know if it's still if it's a guy or a girl because the profile pic was like half body and then yeah, there's yeah. a bike. You, you know, it's from Google. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> Cameras always, always pull pull up weird pictures. Mm. I don't know. I know it's obvious, but they're still doing. It. I don't know. Right. But still, okay. Yeah, they're kind of like, hey, I don't, I don't like what you're doing. You're like wasting people's time. You know, you're like a. Alex, they just hate me. Alex, can I tell you something? <clears throat> and I'm gonna challenge <laughs> you. 
Um, <clears throat> let me tell you something. Do not ever block them. Mm -hmm. Don't ever block them or don't remove them. And really? I yeah, like no, no. He, here's and you don't have to do it right away because it it takes yeah. a lot of it takes confidence, it takes guts and and emotional preparedness to just let them. Um, the reason is it's good for your algorithm because the more they comment, even the hateful comments, even things that you don't like, it, it's engagement right there. It, it you they bring yeah, you back to FYP, you know. All of that. Just don't read them. The number one rule of social media is do not ever read comments. Don't ever read comments. Yeah, you know? that's definitely, yeah. yeah. I think I need to, like, develop. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's what it's cool. Yeah, it will happen. Yeah. Right. And, just, of course, just, of course, you still need the limit, you know, if it's, you know, racial things or whatever limit you want to put in there. Or, you know, if they're attacking your personal loved ones, like your mom and things like that, of course, you want to remove that. But if it's something like just a troll of why are you doing this? You can't even dance or you can't even do this or you're just <laughs> oh, wasting my time. Huh? You take out. You don't delete if, them? If, if you guys are going to, like, see one of my videos, you'll mm -hmm. see, like sugar daddies yeah <laughs> like, ah! you it, it. <laughs> right yeah, yeah i get a lot of dms mm -hmm. offering like oh i'm gonna offer you six thousand euros every week i'm like oh, what <laughs> okay Period. okay All right. okay <laughs> i remember this one i mean many times mm -hmm. they're asking for my fit fix like, yeah picture of my oh, toes yes <laughs> and then i was like i was like to my brother because i'm old, i have an older sibling yeah, like, older yeah. brother, I'm like can you can you send your feet <laughs> i'm just kidding around i never responded to them but like right, right. as a joke i'm like hey what let's let's work together yeah just, right, right. Joke, <laughs> right. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even think people who's asking for fit pics i don't think they would care because i think just the thought that you sent a fit pic their imagination will run that oh that's I your own how, feet, no? you know? I, I wonder how they I don't are know. creative I don't thinkers know. right <laughs> so like, i don't know gonna be feet. i mean that would be like the least thing you you i would like to see you know to a person mm. oh, i want to see on. their face alex yeah, that's not even the worst thing that's not even the worst <laughs> thing in the internet <laughs> so the fit pics it's like mid like it's mm -hmm, yeah. it's mid. Bare min is it bare minimum or what? Oh yeah, it's there's worse. There's worse. There's worse. People so, like oh people goodness. will try to um, buy your uh, bath water. You know, if you take a bath, they'll buy your bath water. They they'll buy farts. They they buy like <laughs> ridiculous things. Oh god. As yeah. funny as it may sound, it is it's true. It's true. It's true. I wonder what we're good. They're it's, creative thinkers. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. it's, it's their thing. So they, you know, they're, they're just gonna use it to, to shower them. Like, right? Yeah. You, you just reuse, recycle. Come on. <laughs> right. Yeah. We save water. We're running out of water. Give me your bath water. <laughs> Global warming. Oh, God. Right. Exactly. Oh, that's funny. It's save water. Shower together. That kind of thing. You know? <laughs> and then what? Mouthwash. You know, you can still mouthwash. Like, oh my goodness. Yes. Oh my goodness. Yes. We're so resourceful. We never ran out of um, uh, Q-tips. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we recycle. Oh, right. oh, <laughs> <laughs> Just black. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine the fifth person. Oh, it's okay. It's black. This is this is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm thinking of like, can I buy your nails or like you? Know, oh, no, <laughs> that's true. You about the, the nail clippings. That's true. Hair, you know, um, all of that. You can sell Are anything they... in the internet. Yeah, pretty much. If you have any of those weird ones, you know, yeah. they'll buy it from you. Yeah, it's true. Interesting. <laughs> well, I, not interesting, but like, it is interesting. It's, it's, yeah, like, it is interesting. Weirdly, Alex, can I ask you something a little personal? Just a little personal. I noticed one of your. Um, I didn't even wait for your answer. I just asked it, didn't I? Um, I noticed in one of your uh, posts on TikTok. Uh, it might have been just a just a post. I don't know if it's true, but how's um love life? How's relationship? Great, healthy. Yeah, that's good. Positive, yeah. Is it is it's it yeah. is it long distance? It is. Oh wow! Ooh. How are you taking that? Oh, um, I think I've got I've gotten used to it, but I feel like it's it's more of like it doesn't it doesn't fit to anyone. I mean, to everyone. Yeah, I feel like it's, it's just it suits me better because yeah. I feel like I get to know myself better as well mm -hmm. for now and then I get to know him and then mm -hmm. I know he's there for me always he's he, like that's good since day one he's been there so right now we're like almost three years 
Nice. Yeah. That's awesome. That's good. That's awesome. That's yes. Yeah. Like big big props for him for yeah. sure. That's a that's a big yes. thing. Yeah. I know people will say like, oh, LDR doesn't work, but I don't know to you, but to me, it does. <laughs> you know, that's how I responded. You know, I'm happy. You're happy. Right. Right. Exactly. So you you oh, you really have a busy life because you have school, you have work, <clears throat> you have um, social media. And now you have boyfriend, because even boyfriend, you know, relation, especially long distance relationship, it's a nine to five job. It's it's a full time job because mm -hmm. you have to commitment and you have to maintain that and you know scheduling time because magkala yung agwat you know because it's so dito yeah 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 exactly so you know it, it it's a lot of work scheduling is like oh when you're awake I'm asleep but when I'm asleep you're wait wait. But it's still yeah. You have If to work on schedule. So when one is sleeping, I study. Mm -hmm. I do work. If one is, if he's awake, you know, I can just still do my work. Mm -hmm. Study with me. Yeah. Contact create Aww. with me like ideas. Um, brain, you know, like what do you call yeah. it? Cute. Uh, I don't know why. Why I don't know why I'm gonna say brainwash. <laughs> Brain <laughs> brainstorming. Brainstorming. <laughs> brainwashed brainwashing. him. <laughs> But, I think. <laughs> I'm like, uh, I'm not gonna say brainwash. Oh my gosh! So yeah, I'll just brainstorm with me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's okay. I mean, maybe because I enjoy doing it and I like it, and it just Good. suits me with yeah. my personality. Yeah, yeah, I do have a busy life because I just recently got this job at school, mm -hmm. which is like nine. It's like 19.5 hours per week. Yeah, then I do school homework, and then content creating. Yeah, basically. Yeah, it's a busy. For now, it's been like two weeks of, for me doing. Because before, I just do school content creating and yeah. love life. Yeah. Right now, I added this job because I yeah. feel like right now content creating is kind of like side hustle. Yeah. I'm earning income, but like not that much. The way I want it yeah. to be as of the moment, you know. Right. right. But I can give up my job, like yeah, so being a student worker to do full time content creating if I feel like it's enough like it satisfies me you know yeah, i think yeah, i feel yeah. like we all have like different levels of like satisfaction yeah you know? and so this I is like this is like your fun time you know like content creation is your fun time too yes you know? exactly that's how i perceive it to be you know i like yeah. it for now i right. like it i enjoy right. it right. i still that's have good. eight hours that's of good. sleep yeah and i do nap times <laughs> oh, you i still do have a time. life <laughs> okay. i do i do like go work out on yeah. a gym yeah I don't know how I do it. People are asking me, "How are you doing it?" Yeah. I don't know. It, it just works for me, for now. You know what's um, just just the thought based on you know what over an hour of our conversation. I think one content is just a suggestion. Okay, like I said, we're not big, so I'm not like I'm not in a position to suggest what is good for you. Oh, um, okay, Feel but free. based on you know based on our conversation, I think there are two main content that you can do if you're planning to do or when you're planning to do youtube or other things um reaction videos i think you'd be good in reaction videos what kind of videos i don't know but that's up to you whatever you enjoy um but i think you'd be good in reaction videos interesting i like sniper wolf Oh, Sniper Wolf. I like Sniper yeah. Wolf's content, but as a person, I don't. But that's besides the point. content. I like the, yeah, her, the, content. Her, her content. But, there, but, but Sniper Wolf is like her content name. Like, yeah, yeah, name. yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So, like, yeah, I like how she reacts to it. And then PewDiePie. Yeah. Like, or, every genuine mm, reaction. Yeah, you know? or KSI and things like that. You know, like, the their content is, is really good. Like, reaction videos, a lot of people think it's an easy kind of content, which it, it kind of is. But it's still putting work on looking for videos and contents that you want to you wanna react to it, you know, it's and things really like that. It's really hard because, yeah. like, you've seen the video mm -hmm. and then you have to react to it. So, basically, you're like, it's not scripted, though, because it right. made you laugh. But still, it's like... You've seen it. Yeah. Although there are content creators that are like having their fan to challenge them mm -hmm. to look or watch a video, but still, if you're like a solo content creator like me, yeah, you know, you have to work it out how you know how the show is gonna be. Right. But yeah, I agree to your suggestion that I could do. Yeah. Like uh, reaction <laughs> videos. I think I did it like for my lives, but still, it's not like right. And you, yeah. If I ever will try YouTube, I will. And the second thing is. Um, Uh, streaming now it doesn't have to be game streaming but it also can be irls like if you do irls and stuff i think you'll be good at that 
and not necessarily like vlogging okay i'm not talking about like vlogging where you shoot and edit and things like that I'm talking about like stream or live where you talk about your in real life kind of situation where you engage with your with your um audience yeah yeah, yeah. yeah pretty things much like that i think you'll be you'll be good at it um i think i i did streaming like mm -hmm. gaming streaming yeah. and facebook and then i played this game outlast yeah, Ooh. I saw that video Ooh. of yours. That game's scary. <laughs> I can't do that. I think you were. I cannot finish it. I mean, <laughs> I need the. I need the. I know. I need the something strong in me to, like, was, you know. There was a, a portion on your yeah. your TikTok video need, that you yeah. were singing just to keep yourself calm or something. Right. I don't know. You should, yo. You should next time. <clears throat> I was just singing. I I can't remember the song that I'm singing. Just skip swimming. So I thought I just sing the song like just skip swimming, swimming. Just skip swimming. and then um. <laughs> What else? But it just <laughs> I just try to say that yeah. incorporates that I think it's funny. Right, but it, right. it's not scripted. Yeah. I no, never write perfect. like during 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 the stream, I just plan to like, okay, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna play this. Yeah. But like my reaction, it's all genuine because yes, I did watch like PewDiePie how he like played it. Because mm -hmm. I wanna see the controls or like how does gaming streaming works. Yeah. I don't have mm -hmm. Twitch yet. Yeah. Although people are suggesting to do Twitch, but like uh, I'm mean, maybe, but it's a other topic. But yeah, I did watch PewDiePie. <laughs> you how he is incorporating his behavior, like his his self, like yeah. his own self, to, like acting while playing. And then I'm like, okay, I can, I think I can do yeah. this. And then mm. I did try it. I think it was effective because people were like, oh, you're so funny. Like <laughs> I did live in Facebook, yeah. and then they're yeah. um, especially me. I think that being it's not being like a stereotypical type, but like yeah. I look like I look so young and I'm a girl <laughs> playing what scary yes it's perfect yeah you know what you, uh and then the the third thing I know I already said too but the third thing and this is gonna be if you if you do it it will rev revolutionize your content creation and especially if your mom is willing to do it anyways do any content with your mom either podcast like this you know talking about your life and your daily living as Re uh, not Rika Alex and mom kind of podcast or have your mom play Outlast that will be <laughs> a or make her watch you play <laughs> yeah, exactly make her watch make her watch it or react oh, to any God. videos with her um, and do any of that Filipino moms are hilarious. Yeah, they're, they they're are. really they're funny. funny. There was one story about my mom. Um, I think it happened to Jokoi too, but we went to a store, right? <clears throat> and then my mom was trying to explain something to this clerk. And because of her thick Filipino accent, the clerk said, I can't understand what you're saying. It, it, I, I can't. And then my mom said, my mom said, um, I speak three languages. I speak Tagalog, I speak English, and I speak Kapampangan. How many languages do you speak? And then the guy said, just one. You're dumb, she said, and then she walked away. <laughs> oh, damn. Your mom was cold. Hey. Funny. I think I did one TikTok. I mean, not one, like one of one of many TikToks that I made with my mom yeah. was just, she's cleaning, and I keep on like doing Dumb oh, yeah. stuff while yeah. he's cleaning. <laughs> yeah. I will like wiping or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> and I think it got like 10k views or yeah, whatever. Exactly. I think I got like thousand followers or like below thousand followers. That's mm, that's funny. Started. Yeah. It was but yeah, just so annoying. Like annoying the Filipino. Right. Mom. Yeah. Anything with the Filipino mom in it, basically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah there was. Any one... Filipina like Filipino household. Mm -hmm. uh, Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was one TikToker that I um that I follow. Him and his mom, and his mom is just um he cusses a lot you know she cusses a lot in 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 tagalog and it's trending all over tiktok and you know now he's verified because of that and that's the, that's his content it's just him and that's his funny. mom <laughs> that's funny <laughs> oh man there you go you got ideas i can yeah. only imagine thank you i will keep in touch with you guys. yes <laughs> seriously we're gonna be real friends you know all yeah, filipinos friend, there's friendship friends like you know going yeah. on here right Abso absolutely <laughs> A hundred percent. I totally agree. This is going to be like a real friendship. I mean, we're Filipinos too, you know? We got to yeah, stick together. Dear viewers, this is a genuine content. <laughs> yeah. This is, a, this is not just a collab. This is a friendship. You're basically just watching us building this relationship together. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. We're just hanging out. <laughs> yeah. You're just here. You're here because you're nosy and you want to know what's <laughs> going on. And, and now you know. Yeah, the yeah. chicas and the cheese meats in our yeah, life. Exactly. You know, I'm just saying. Spill exactly. the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> oh man well before we end i want to uh, shout out kuya um kuya rj i know you're gonna you're gonna watch this um episode kuya rj 
is uh, from California. Ooh. He was one. He was one of our uh, guests like two or three uh, episodes ago. Um, he just moved to the Philippines. He he, he um, oh, supposed right. to move to the Philippines October, but it was early because he's adopting a, a kid from the Philippines. Oh. And now, and and the kid came out early, so they had to go to the Philippines early. Ah. And he's gonna be in the Philippines for a whole year, and he was born here. So mm. shout out to him. Born and raised here. Like, what, what's that? Like born and raised here. In the born and raised here. Yeah, can't even oh. speak Tagalog. No, nothing. But he's trying. <laughs> yeah, he's trying. Well, but at yeah. least he would have a like, content. Yeah, oh, he have yeah. plenty. Him I'm and his go. him and his wife are in the in the Philippines right now in my hometown. Pampanga. And, oh, yeah. Kapampangan. Yep, I am Kapampangan. Purebred Kapampangan. I, I just don't eat dogs, but I, I am Kapampangan. <laughs> I don't like dogs. Uh, I mean, I don't like eating dogs. So. Yeah, oh. yeah. I went to um Iba Zambales. I, I went there. Zambales is beautiful. It is. Yeah. It is. I don't like the, ano, yung pagbabiyahe lang. Kasi yung Pampanga yung parang pinakamahaba. So going mm-hmm. from Manila to... Um, Sambales, it's like Pampanga is like in between of them, yep. and Pampanga is like the longest. Yep. Because like I, I always like sleep mm-hmm. during like the trip. I'm like, wake up, where are we, Pampanga? Okay, sleep. Where are we, Pampanga? <laughs> yeah. Like, What's with Pampanga? Like, <laughs> yeah. Also, yung ano nun, parang esitex mga or yeah, NLX, yeah. So. I think it's just NLEX, I think, right? Yeah, parang I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. They have Slex, Se Text, and Lex. I don't know. There's there's so many <laughs> there's so many expressway. But yeah, um, yeah, I went to Zambales and we know a lot of people from there and Longapo, you know. Um, mm. Oh yes. Yeah, and it's beautiful. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> I agree. The beaches. I like the beaches. I miss it. Like yeah. Wow. Oh, I miss it. I we don't have we don't have salt it. water around here. We have lake. <laughs> Have what about me? I, I'm like born and raised. Oh, you are in the desert. In the desert. No, no yeah, desert. you are in the desert. Very. I don't know how I could. Hey, you <laughs> are four. Well, I don't know if you drive. You're about mm-hmm. four to six hours. No, four or five hours away just to drive to the beach. Yeah, yeah. You're close to California. Yeah. yeah. Well, we have lake here, but like it's it's dying. <laughs> like, it's, like, <laughs> it's just dying. barely alive though. It's it's really creepy though because the lake mead. Mm-hmm. It's really going down. To oh, the really? point that they're discovering bodies in it. <gasps> like, Dang. They don't even know when it was the body. That's a, like, that's a, tic- that's a TikTok clip but, right there. Nice. They're finding bodies in <laughs> the clickbait. Yeah, you can search it up, Google it up. They're seeing bodies. Like, it's, that's it's crazy. because of the water going down. Is this down. recent? Yeah. Probably. Yeah, probably. It's summer. Mm. Oh, it's but summer still, right now. You're four hours away from driving to the beach mm-hmm. and enjoy the sun and probably cost you 250 dollars drive <laughs> just one shot gas. Gas. <laughs> hey, gas how much is gas in nevada i i heard it's like five dollars five dollars oh that's not okay. bad, yeah, not that's bad. Not bad. It's still it's it's like uh, like the first time i got here it was like three dollars yeah i yeah, know I, I believe you yeah. and then as soon yeah, as you cross yeah. the border going to california yeah, it's already six seven or seven <laughs> Seven dollars. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. I think Katarungan. I think it's Katarungan. I forgot. Like uh... justice. <laughs> yeah, justice. Yeah. <laughs> There's no justice in the gas. I don't right, know. Okay, right. I... Yeah. Okay, well. Yeah. We'll just. How about walk. Matagal? It's getting expensive. Yeah, I agree. And okay. it's not. It's not different in the Philippines. You know, like now, I think the gas there hit a hundred, a hundred pesos per gallon per liter. Oh. Yeah. And then it's... considering the, like the living in the Philippines, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. I mean, yung sweldo na da, it's not per hour. Yeah. Did you ever do Did you ever do call center when you were in the Philippines? No. no? But I have friends that are in call center. I think you They're would, doing you an amazing been, job. They're yeah, being, you would have been perfect for yeah, it. Yeah, you would have aced it. Yeah, with your accent no, and all. I'm I'm not sure about that with my patience. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay, true. fair. I, I did call center fair. when I was in the Philippines. and. I mean, it's di- it's a different, of course, in nursing. You need patience, but but still, it's like on the phone. <laughs> and then you're 24 hours <laughs> in the monitor. I'm like, <laughs> I get that oh, joke. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> and I, then you're going to curse me. like. Uh. Alex, I got that joke. And, you know, in nursing, you need patience and patience. <laughs> yeah. Right? I think you're the only one I figured it out. <laughs> But that's still funny. That was funny. It was funny. That was a thank you. Thank you. Did you? Hey, did you adopt? Um, speaking of which, did you adopt any American humors yet? Like humors that you didn't realize it exists. Um, because our our Filipino humors are completely different, right? Than American. Did you notice that? So, um, disclaimer: I'm not belittling, or I'm not like. Yeah, yeah. You no, know. no, that's fine. <laughs> I feel like American jokes are kind of like 
little corny compared really? to Filipino jokes. <laughs> I feel like it's it takes a lot of effort to make a Filipino joke. Unlike in America, like mm-hmm. in America here, like oh, it's a joke, so I, it's like easy for me to like joke around with people. But like the humor that I got, like from the being the, in the Philippines, it's like really different. It's like a different level. It's like mm. the Filipino joke that I can, you know, I can do like the the level is like this. America, oh, maybe a little bit lower. It's like it takes a little effort to make people laugh or like to mm. you know to make a joke. Gotcha. I don't know. That's gotcha. for me. I feel like I didn't have to adjust with the humor. Maybe like uh, adjust. Maybe like you just don't have the connection yet. I don't know. I, I actually think it uh, the other way. I feel like Filipino jokes are easy to to hit than American jokes. Um, but then again, you know, jokes are subjective. It depends yeah. on okay. your your own perspective. But what I think is that it takes a lot. I mean, like a more jokes. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like a Filipino jokes are on a different level. It's really yeah, weird. yeah. I don't know. It's like <laughs> like being in the here in America. Parang joke na ba yun? Parang ganun. Oh. <laughs> like joke na ba yun? Tapos na siya. Yeah, you know yeah, what? Yeah, like, yeah. Hindi pa, hindi pa, like it's not even my joke yet, but they're laughing at it. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm like. Yeah. Yung effort na, ay, yun yun. <laughs> hey, they might they might actually think you're really adorable because like oh and that's funny you know and yeah they're always like that that's funny i'm like yeah. i'm not there yet you know and i mean you can't really take what i say um as it is because i love dad jokes like that i thrive in dad jokes i love them um, mm-hmm. you know and and when i was in the philippines i love i don't even know what kind of jokes do i do I just do dumb jokes like knock knock jokes or because our knock knock in the Philippines is different than knock knock jokes in here. Remember? Yeah. Yeah. I believe. Because our knock knock jokes in the Philippines is you change it to singing. Here it's just you just change it to something. Yeah, like mm. knock knock. Who's yeah. there? It's that. And then the Philippines, it's really singing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, singing. you know, like karaoke. Anyway. So. Yeah, Filipinos love to sing in general. It doesn't have to be <laughs> karaoke. You know, we sing in wedding, birthday, funeral. Anytime. Anytime. <laughs> funeral. <laughs> yeah, we sing oh, in funeral. Right, funeral. Yes. Yeah. See, I told you. I don't know if we're like celebrating the dad. <laughs> <laughs> celebrating yeah. You raise me up. That was the song. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, like uh, yeah. I think that so maga like you raise me. As you under no ano, as you pray, hindi mo naman ka ano ano yung like respect. You still respecting the dad, but yeah. like hindi mo siya ka ano ano but you suffering because you street. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know, I know. And then during that um that thing when you delivering, no, you don't deliver the body. <laughs> <laughs> Transporting, like yeah, transporting. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and there's a song, you know. Um, what was the popular uh, funeral song when when they do that? Uh, uh, what was that song? Do you remember? Journey, Journey, Journey to the No, yeah. it's it's a Tagalog uh, song that they sing it for dead people. Oh my gosh, I need to Google that one. I know. Uh, the the song that popped in my head is Ikakasal. That is a completely different song. That's for wedding song. That's like heartbroken song. It's not even the... <laughs> yeah. I forgot. Yeah, but, yeah, interesting. I don't know. But that's it. I'm just really sad about the part of traffic. So parang the whole people, like, in the street, mm-hmm. they are also like nakikiramay, which is... <laughs> they're all mourning. They're all mourning. Morning. Mm-hmm. Yeah, even though they're not the related to the person. People that they don't even know. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. they're more. <laughs> that was funny. And then the song, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It makes me remember all days, <laughs> dude. I've been missing Philippines so much that I just reminisce every single Philippine stuff. Like Same. you know, like the like what I did with the OPM songs. Um, any any of the things that we do. Um, like now that I think about it, there are some things that we say or do that doesn't even make any sense. Like um. What was that song that we were making fun of by River Maya? Um, it's the song If. I don't know if you know that song. If by River Maya. Maybe if you sing it, if I can. It's not even it. like it, it didn't go. It um, one, was it in it English? It didn't go mainstream. Yeah, it, it's English. But Something the lyrics about touch is, and touching. Yeah, the lyrics says if if you if I touch you, will you touch me too? And I'm like, that's a creepy lyrics. <laughs> Why is that in that song? Interesting, because I don't know if it's 
like merong mga in- um, English songs na tinatagalog. Maybe that's mm-hmm. what you're talking about. Yeah, I, I know the, the lyrics are in English. Yeah, the songs in English. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, and that's the lyrics. If you touch me, uh, would you touch me too? That's <laughs> that's that's the song. <laughs> and then and then remember when we were kids, how many Filipino songs we definitely ruined? Like the like the song um um isigaw mo sa hangin you know that song yeah, yeah. yeah. we yeah. ruined that lyrics by saying um isabaw mo sa kanin ang something <laughs> right like there's so many songs that we just definitely <laughs> ruined <laughs> yeah, i don't know Filipino kids yeah uh, which is us before yeah that that was us that that's creative, just what we do yeah, yeah. uh what was that what was the other one recently? the christmas songs so i don't know <laughs> like the like the darna song not the michael v version but the um uh uh i forgot it's it's in the bridge but yeah we ruined so many songs because we just that's just what we do we just parody <laughs> songs and <laughs> Just... Yeah, we used to do it sa Caroling. We just scream it. Pinapasa namin yung lyrics. Right? Um, ang babarat ninyo. Thank you. Right? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when they don't wait, when, when they don't give you. Yeah, so when the they don't give you money. Because doesn't know about right. the culture. Right. When they don't give so you money. When we do Caroling, like sing, <laughs> we wait for the money. Yeah, yeah. And then we go back like every night, you know, if they give us money, we'll go back there the, the following night and just we sing the same song. They were the same same person. <laughs> it's the same, same person. Yeah. Like, did not see you yesterday. Maybe they're just annoyed. Right. Yeah. Patawal po. <laughs> and then you're gonna sing that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, Alex, this has been fun. I hope you yeah. enjoyed your very first podcast. Right? Yes, I did. Yeah. I'm now gonna, you know what to expect. Yeah. And and if you want to, I don't know this this whole thing is a it's a lot of work like the podcasting in comparison to TikTok or or I mean content creation is a lot of work in general but podcasting because you know looking for looking for guests like you um, it takes it takes time and then you have to allot certain amount of hours to to record exactly. to edit to post and things like yeah. that but it's fun like I love hanging out with people you know with, yeah. with you yeah. This is the most I ever hang out with. I mean, I normally just stay with myself, but meeting, knowing this guy, I have encountered so many people I have never met in yeah, all my life. Yep, and no regrets. No, they're regrets. all cool people. That's friendship right there, January. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I love your I love your light. By the way, it reminds me of Barney. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I like Barney. <laughs> he loves Barney. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we vibing. We vibing. Oh, I have a conspiracy theory about that, but anyway. Oh. I want to hear it. Yeah. What same. It? What is it? So Barney is the dinosaur. That's a, that's the song, right? Yeah. So he basically takes the kids. And wait, I'm, I'm gonna search up the lyrics. Barney is the dinosaur. That's how he sings the song, in a way that um, the dark, the darkness comes uh-huh. in. Like he gets the kids and never return them. Takes them back home. Oh, like a Peter Pan. Oh yeah, I was just gonna say that it's the Peter Pan theory. Yeah, have you heard mm-hmm. about that Peter Pan theory? Mm-mm. So Peter Pan, and the pirate one is the good one. Yeah. So the the um, Captain Hook, um, the the reason why he's fighting Peter Pan because he's one of the kids that got away from him, uh-huh. and he uh he got old, right? Yeah. And he's trying to take all the lost boys with him, because Peter Pan, once you grow old, he'll kill you. Because nobody should grow old in the Neverland. Mm. So the real hero of the movie is Captain Hook, not Peter Pan. So Captain Hook is trying to get rid of Peter Pan. Yeah. He basically saves kids. He saves kids. Because Peter Pan uh, kidnaps kids. Because remember Wendy and her whole siblings? Yeah. He just kidnaps all of them. Disney. Yeah. 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 There's a lot of those. You can just Google it. The Barney song. Mm. Do you know the theory about Rugrats? Oh, no. yeah, you told me okay. about that. You know Let's about regrets? It. You, you want to know? Yes, please. All of the kids, except for the big girl. What's her name? Uh, and uh, Angelica. And Angelica. All of the kids are dead. Every single one of them. Yeah. So it's just like a Phineas and Ferb. Yes, yes. Wait, what's with Phineas and Ferb? Hold on. So Angelica um, is uh, in a psych ward. Like, she's crazy. And she she named all of the kids, and that's the reason why in in a lot of the episodes the grown ups don't talk to kids. So the twins, um, the twins, the reason why they're twins because they they died in the mom's womb, and she couldn't decide if they're a girl or a boy. So they made 
she oh, made both of them yeah yep it, it was crazy like that whole theory is, is crazy it's like um it's like uh um what was this like the winnie the pooh um theory oh, that yeah. christopher robbins is crazy right and that's his dolls like pooh and uh piglet and all that and they're not real Mm -hmm. yeah. For the, yeah, and the, the for the Phineas and Ferb, oh, wow. mm -hmm. and it, um, they are they said that they are dead, the two brothers, the yeah. two siblings, yeah, and then Candace is like making all over. That's why the parents oh. cannot see what they're doing. Remember how Candace like, hey mom, mom, dad, I yeah. like he's calling their parents and then like, right, ignoring mm. what is happening. It's yeah. because they're not there, mm. and then Candace is just imagining it all. That's gotcha. how I know it. Interesting, right? That's interesting. The then what? Come up. What is platypus then? What is, just, what's his I'm name? I'm not sure about that. <laughs> I know the platypus. Perry, Perry, Perry the platypus. Perry the platypus. Yeah. I can't do the voice. It was weird. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I have There's a question. A of... Speaking of which, would you do um, would you do an ASMR content? I'm not sure about that. I feel awkward when it's like just me not talking because I like talking. No, it doesn't <laughs> so have like, to be like the weird stuff, like you know, like, eating eating ASMR or things like that. Would you do it? Um, I'm down for it, but like I'm not sure if I can like pull it. You know, like yeah. I can. You can't pull I think, it off. I think the weirdest one is like the off, yeah. you know like the licking ASMR. That's like the weirdest thing, in my opinion. That's like it's just so weird. I just can't believe ASMR exists. Yeah, I me just, too. I get it. I, I don't get I it. I can't even stand people, you know, chewing loud, let alone. Me too. Sorry. That's kind of like a pet peeve. Like yeah. eating. I cannot. Yeah. No. <laughs> Apologies. Although I can do the, there was one type of ASMR when they cook, you know, like they're cutting vegetables. Oh, yeah. I like those. Yeah. I like mm -hmm. the, that sound. That they're but making. I feel like it's ASMR. It's more of like a therapeutic. Um, I think so. Like very focused in S isn't yes yeah it's satisfying but, it's one of those satisfying but like my videos. personality and but, more of like like i believe it in the beginning <laughs> it started off with something very you know humane like very legit but people just nowadays they're just going wild with their so asmr things at least for me <laughs> they're like i have an excuse to do something hey, stupid you know you know what's a good a, a filipino asmr <laughs> um no actually you no, want no. you want me to tell you what's a perfect filipino <laughs> asmr <laughs> Yes. Um, when you uh, pick up lice and then you kill it, that's a perfect ASMR. Oh, right. <laughs> uh, yes. I haven't think of that. Oh, yeah. Right? My mom likes it. <laughs> you love that. Don't you love that sound when you kill them and then mm. they pop? Bro, oh, yeah. that's a Filipino ASMR right there. Just find it's someone more. with the the most lice in their head and then you just, you know, <laughs> <laughs> You're all, and then you just. I did it. have those like before because yeah, I was always too. outdoors and just being with my friends. That's and funny. Having a lice when one friend has it. Everybody has, has it. it. Exactly. I know. Yeah, that's a thing. I, I, yeah. I'm, just I'm always been an time. outdoor kid that, that time. So I'm like, <laughs> my mom likes to, like, I'm going to, like, hey, let me, like, like you know, it, yeah. it's nasty, but, like, mm. right. satisfying. <laughs> and the I don't popping. know why it's even satisfying now. The popping sound, right? Isn't it satisfying? That's a perfect ASMR video. I'm telling you. Someone has to do that. It, it's kind of gross, but, I mean, it works. <laughs> Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I'm, I'm reminiscing like oh. <laughs> uh, for me it's not the popping sound, it's the feeling that when you the Oh the when you squeeze them together squeeze them, and then, mm. then that sensation pop. It's like oh, okay. That I get. <laughs> yeah. That I get. Brood, it's brutal, right? It's yeah. Like, I'm and squeezing then, and you. then and then you they they trying to crawl away. So you like grab him and then squeeze him. Oh, oh that was perfect. Sometimes they feel yeah. like they're jumping or whatever. Right. <laughs> they're like dude, I don't know how they if they're flying or jumping or what they're like you know you have to like chase them like you know you yeah, pass, yeah. You pass. i think it's with the wind too because they're you know tiny oh, yeah, they so do. they they get caught yeah. in the wind <laughs> 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 right. oh, 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 oh. they're flying they don't have wings <laughs> <laughs> like, <right? laughs> man this this podcast has gone to a different journey like we talk about your life i know we talk about your content creation we talk about a lot of things and now we end up with lice, lice. that's well, that's a perfect amazing yeah. it's very <laughs> you know, topic yeah exactly if you, if there's something that you want to get out of this podcast 
there's got to be something. I don't know what it is, but there's something that you can make. I can't even remember how many topics we talked. Yeah. Yeah. That that is the whole point of this podcast is to hang out, get to know you and tell people about you and things like that, you know? And then I'm going to clip some of the conversations like the lice that's going to be on TikTok. (laughs) (laughs) And I'm going to tag you. (laughs) Yes, please do. I will. Yes, I will. I will definitely tag you. All right. Alex. It's Alex, been it's been it fun, nice and you. hopefully we can invite you again when you know when you're available, and we'll shoot another yeah. episode. Thank you for this opportunity. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Hope you had fun. I hope this is for a real. this is a. I did. I needed the laugh. Yeah. <laughs> I hope we didn't There's traumatize you. You know, it's like I don't want right? to do any more podcast because of that TMFS people. <laughs> Terrible. I'm really happy. This is my first podcast. Yes. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm, yeah, I'm glad. It's this a is, privilege. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um. But yeah, where can people find you from yeah. this YouTube people? I know I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna put your information, information. like your social security number and all that. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> but where can people find you in the social media world? Yeah. Okay, so guys, follow me on TikTok. It's under at underscore Alex the Great, and then on Instagram, which is um, Matias underscore Rika. I'm gonna change that soon, but okay. <laughs> but you can look for me that way, and then yeah, if you like reach out if you want to like, yeah. hear the vibe with yeah. everyone like this genuine yeah. relationship, like this gentleman right here. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, you. Would you do? There. Hold on. Would you do Dakilang Alex? Dakilang Alex. Oh yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe not. <laughs> or maybe. <laughs> no. Shut I up. mean, because uh, no, no, because that's not. It was just a funny suggestion. Because Takila is, you know, great in in Tagalog. Oh, yeah, the great yeah. 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 Maybe. But everyone might think Takila is in Takila. Yeah, but that that works too. But it's, it has to be something <laughs> like the way you know the way social media and the way internet works. It has to be catchy. It has to be easy to remember. Yeah. You know. And it's yeah. Filipino. Too. And it's Filipino. Dakilang yeah. Alex. That's just. Thank you. <laughs> you don't have to use it. Don't you know? You don't have to use it. <laughs> just imagine. <laughs> you ever heard of this tequila girl? Yeah. Tequila. I mean, she she drinks a lot. <laughs> oh, she, she tequila, drinks, like yeah, tequila girl, not tequila. Tequila, like tequila. tequila girl, tequila. Yeah. Yeah, interesting. You know, actually. Thank you for your suggestion. Dakilang Alex. Okay, but She's going to take it for to Parang consideration. Ano? Parang ano, nung naging bayani. Right? <laughs> Bayaning Alex. Oh my God. Bayani. Self-proclaimed. Self-proclaimed bayani. Yeah, exactly. Um, you will have a you have a hero's, um, hero's day in the Philippines. <laughs> Alex Day? Oh my God. Alex Day. Wow. <laughs> the day of nice. Alex. Uh, all right. Well, want to say thank you again to our guest um alex yes. the great alex yes uh, for joining us it's been a it's been a pleasure it's been an yeah. opportunity for sure it was awesome if you um if you reach this end of this podcast and you haven't followed us i don't even know what you're doing mm-hmm. you probably should hit that subscribe button and follow us in our social media um go to tiktok facebook instagram uh, Twitter, LinkedIn, and all that, and look for the Maximum Filipino Show. If you are listening to this podcast and you want to see our faces, especially Alex's faces, mm-hmm. go to YouTube and find the Maximum Filipino Show. Right? Um, if you don't want to see us or you just want to hear our voices, go to Spotify and all your favorite podcast app, uh, Apple Podcast, Google Podcast. Look for the Maximum Filipino Show, and yeah, you will hear our voices. Um, but yeah, again, we want to say thank you to Alex for doing this yeah. pod. It's been it's thank been awesome. Me. It's been a great opportunity, um, and we'll see you guys later on the next later, podcast. Peeps. Bye. Late. <laughs>